Hey guys, we're gonna start this a bit early. Cause I did set it to seven, but uh, you know. <laughs> Just sitting here, love watching a video, got some food in my stomach. Drink some energy drink. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I showed this on the last stream, yeah, because I took a screenshot of it from their last update. The uh, new early access roadmap that they released. Uh, not today, I think it was yesterday, or I think it was the day before yesterday. Uh, but let's see. We might go through some of the recommended maps. Uh, just kind of see like what they look like. Because a lot of these I actually haven't looked at, because some of them are actually new. Oh, thanks for the prime sub, my guy. Let me make sure my, uh... Are they still muted? I thought I muted my feed for the YouTube videos before, but they're still not playing. Let me check this real quick. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I could check it. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Uh, I'm just trying to see why my alerts aren't going off. Because I unmuted them. That's going pretty good. It's actually about to be 7 p.m. for me. I ended up getting up really late because uh, my uh, <laughs> my sleep's been pretty rough. That's mostly just about my, uh, my insomnia. Took some of my uh, sleeping meds yesterday and they just did not work. So I just didn't sleep and then ended up hibernating. Let's see. <laughs> so many fuel canisters, no meds yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some places are pretty rough when it comes to, like, what's there. Like, in said locations. Yeah, let's look at Kingsland. Uh, so a lot of times you can just type it in and it'll give you... I spent that right, right? I think I did. Uh, is it Norfolk, England? Is uh this was is this the location you're talking about? Uh we'll start on this side. Let's take a look at it. Uh we'll go up on people. Oh, they changed this. Huh. Cause it used to say I think it was like what, 30, 40, and 50 people. So now I wonder if this is like changes everything now that you get. So like immigrants and stuff. It's just not starting people. Be hilariously hard, yeah. So I wonder if that's what that is. We'll see. If, uh, if that's what they changed that to. Most places are available. Um, it just gets kind of rough when you go out to the boonies. Hey, gamer. Um... Because if there's not a certain, if there's not enough buildings in the area, it will uh, not let you play it. But the maps are always updating. 
the world oh, we'll go through this if you guys haven't seen this before. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, that the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. And there you go. I just wanted to let that play for people who probably haven't seen it uh, yet. Little little intro video there, because I usually don't have them in my videos, because you know it just takes up time. Uh, and if you've seen it once, you know you, you've already seen it. Uh, but I was just gonna let that play. There we go. I think that's why my alerts weren't playing, because I actually had my alert box in. Uh, I was looking at the achievements yesterday and was trying to get them. The farming for 50 days one didn't actually work, because uh, we got to the, I think we got to like 51 or 52, and without any farming, and it just like, it did not give me the achievements, so there, there was that. Uh, we'll have to check some of the other ones. I kind of dig some of these buildings, like some of these areas. It's like kind of nice to fortify some of these if you tear some down. Uh, let's see. Ah, see, I'd love to go with this building, but it's just too big. I wouldn't be able to defend it that easily unless I like routed uh, zombies to certain areas. Oh, is there a reset? Uh, let me check. Uh, does not look like there was. Nope, there was not a reset. I still have my uh, achievements I got from the other day. So yeah, they, they didn't reset them. Ooh, nice brick piles right here. This wouldn't be that bad of a spot. Uh, the infected can slip through these. That wouldn't be too bad, though. Oh, uh, yeah, they did change. I don't know if they changed that or not. I think I had a small one. I think it was like a few megabytes. I don't think it was crazy big. I think they mostly did their update the other day. Um, but it didn't look like there was. Because my game could have updated while I wasn't at my computer. But I could check real quick to see if they dropped update notes. So I see they did come out with something today for game release. Uh, there's no update notes attached to it. So if anything, they could have fixed like a bug or two here for release, but it looked like yeah for what like what they updated more than likely. Uh, this is the Kingsland uh, in England. Uh, one of the viewers wanted to take a look at it. This isn't really specifically for to flat buildings for my test. Uh, like isn't really for part of a series. We're just kind of like doing it for the stream. Too flat and not high. What do you mean?
Ah, uh, maybe they might keep it out. Oh, the buildings aren't high enough. Ah. Uh, yeah, I would say there's not that many skyscrapers. You'd, you'd have to probably be somewhere where there's skyscrapers, like New York or like any place with taller buildings. Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to start here. Nice little spot. Yeah, infected can swim. It slows them down, but they can still swim. Yeah, weapon rate is limited. Yeah, but uh, I kind of have an idea. Like I said, this isn't for like a series at the moment. We're just uh, just doing this. We'll probably, you know, we might lose and then uh, go somewhere else. They definitely got like, yeah, yeah, they could swim. <laughs> ah, th at least in this area, there was no skyscrapers. I don't know if there would be any skyscrapers here. Building clear. We actually have a police station down here or something with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much the the one that I saw on the uh, uh, on the Steam discussions was that they're like you know pretty much anything a human can do. Oh, that's new. They added a little uh, calendar thing here. Unless I'm just seeing that wrong, and it's not actually new. Okay, make sure that's still going. Okay, we're gonna collect up. Decent amount of these bricks here. Yeah, hey, we'll leave 10 people on that. Yeah, that, I thought it was. I thought I didn't recognize it. Um, they're just adding in little, little things here and there. We'll do max 14 on those trees there. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's is some metal around here, so we'll actually get this metal also. Yeah, seven on the metal. It's not good at all. What are you talking about? Are you talking about this building? I'm probably going to tear down this building, to be honest. Six, and that leaves me with what? One more person? Uh, you know what? One more person on the bricks. And then we'll collect up on some of this. Uh, not yet. They haven't replied to the email as of yet. I'm probably going to give them a day or two uh, to see if they will reply to it or not. Uh, I'm going to walk this person out a bit. Actually, no, just go here. Go get that. I was going to see if I can go find a car. Uh, what's our resources looking like? So we're about halfway point. Uh, I haven't had any issues as of yet. I hope there's a car, actually. Uh, when it comes to save games. But they did say they wanted the, uh... The saves to be, like, a lot more backwards compatible. Once the game fully releases. Uh, I've tested barbed wire before. It does, like, slow them down and damage them. But it also, like, you know, damages the barbed wire by a decent amount. <coughs> oh, had a cough there. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the... <laughs> I love the way that sounds. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. So we have some infected here. I'm just going to drive you guys all the way down here real quick. Let's 
See some more vehicles here. A lot more uh, fuel trucks. Do I love the sound of this makes when you speed it up? Look for more hey, Diesel. Track them down. Uh, let's see. <laughs> but nice vid, yeah. I see you comment that a lot. <laughs> uh, let's hope they don't go inside. Okay, that doesn't look like they're going inside with them. I was like, these guys are kind of hurt already. Yeah, don't, don't leave the building. Okay, right, so we got a horde up there. First night's usually the safest. Oh. Uh, the link to the Discord should actually be in, like, the YouTube description. And I think they're also in my videos. I can't remember if they're in my videos, but if you look at my main bio on YouTube, they are. it is definitely there. Oh, we got an AK. Another handgun. Two handguns. Say another AK, but we got a AK. We got a singular AK. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's another one right here. We're on the move. We gonna hit up that one next. Let's see. Clear. Hit up that building. We'll have them hit up that. Building clear. So we have what? Four people free, or now five people technically? I didn't even see this little building right here. Oh yeah, yeah. I tend to like, uh, cause somebody had somebody said this before that like the way that I play, I play like at a much faster pace than most people that they've like watched, and um, I've I've come to realize that when I've watched some people, like unless I pause and like talk for a bit, cause that's like my main thing of streaming for the most part is like connecting with you guys, talking with you guys a lot more than like hundred percent focusing on gameplay, um. That's like my plan, at least with it, because, you know, I, I enjoy talking with you guys, because uh, <laughs> realistically, you know, IRL, I don't really leave my house that much, <laughs> uh, unless I go to, like, my VA appointments and stuff. So most of my, like, interaction is usually online at, anyway. Uh, we're going to kind of put this against the building. That way you can shoot, like, fire over the building. We're going to put a metal tower there. Because uh, depending on how close towers are to certain things, they can actually fire over them or not. Yeah, I do. I will full on like totally forget about the game. Uh, something I always recommend uh, to get past like first horde and stuff is to always build like a starter tower. Um, like on one side and then possibly the other. Because these towers have a lot of HP. Oh, um, the VA is the Veterans Administration. Uh, I got injured when I was in the Army. And so I get, uh, I get paid disability from the VA because they, they handle all of my, like, health care and stuff also. Oh, we got another AK there. Uh, so that's what the VA is. Uh, we're gonna hit up this. Oh, that's a- I thought that was a supermarket. No, it's a parking garage. Oh, yeah? I- The military's fun, and it sucks at the same time. It's like, you get half and half. Yeah, ended up, uh, I got knocked off the back of a one ton and, uh, oh, that's, oh, that's cool. That is actually new. That is very much new and that is really nice. I, I like that a lot. I'm not 
sure if it was just renamed to the beta version or not. I know they've they dropped a good amount of updates last few days. It's been pretty good. Um, I know it still says early access, but I don't know if it says alpha or beta. Oh, yep, beta up here. Never mind. I, I, my, I just need to open my eyes. <laughs> By the joining the Marines, like my dad or Air Force. Uh, I ended up joining the Army. Uh, I decided that if I ever was going to join the military again, it would probably be the Air Force. Because I, I work in IT, so I have three... I have three associate's degrees based in information technology, and then I also have, like, two classes left on my bachelor's for information technology. Um, so I, I like tech. <laughs> I, I, I like technology in general. Come on. Uh, let's do this. Oh, I didn't actually drop the stuff off like I had hoped. Oh! It, it would probably help that it's full. <laughs> let's do this. Okay. Boom. Uh, God, I wanted to tear this down, but I might tear, turn this into a warehouse now. Yeah. Yeah. I originally never thought I would get my bachelor's, and so I just went for my associates. Um, and then it was like, oh, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go get my bachelor's now. And I ended up doing that. Uh, you know, we might just turn this into a warehouse, too, at the moment. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I need, I need space. <laughs> I need a lot of space. We're also going to build out the... Research center. Probably over here, too. Because I'm going to build a tower over here in case the uh, first horde does come. And it tries to, like, take me out. We'll put it here. And then we're also going to put a metal tower over here. Oh, we're out of raw metal, actually. A 7,000 warehouse, yep. Uh, yeah, I, I was a uh, 25 uniform. I was, uh, signal, I was a signal support system specialist. I worked in blackout tents and stuff. I was communications. <laughs> oh, can you move your headquarters now? How does this work, though? Does it move my headquarters, or does it build, like, a whole nother headquarters? Huh. I want... I don't know. Let's see. From here, yep. Uh, it's a small capacity warehouse allows the creation of squads and provides a shelter of questionable questionable comfort for all citizens. Does but does that move your headquarters? Is the thing. I don't know. We'll have to test that. That's what it seems like you can do now. Because originally there was a button on your HQ that said, like, move HQ. So you can only have one? Ah, yeah. From underground. They're afraid that it could be infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. We need to bolster our defenses. We'll be ready. Uh, did that free up some space? It did actually free up some space. And we are going to get some more metal. If I could find some metal around here. Uh... We got some... Yep, okay, we got some of these light poles around. I have Lethal Company. I just haven't played it in a minute. It was fun, but then it kind of, like, lost its novelty kind of quickly. It looks a lot more fun with mods, though. I've watched a lot of videos of people playing it with mods, and it looks a lot more fun with mods compared to, uh, you know, like, base game. But I also haven't touched it in forever. That was like Phasmophobia. Um, my buddy's younger brother got me into Phasmophobia when it first released, and uh, I, I I was screaming like a baby. <laughs> oh my god! 
That that phasmophobia like absolutely scared the crap out of me when that game first released. Once you get used to it and you learn everything, it becomes a lot less like eh. At least back then, I don't know how it is now. It looks like it would be a lot more scary now, too, because they've updated a lot and there wouldn't be a lot that I know. Dude, I love RimWorld. I have played RimWorld since I was in middle school, and I am 27 now. I got into RimWorld, like, probably, I'd say, a few months after they first released it into, like, closed access. I've thought about doing, um, like, RimWorld videos, too, but if I do that, I'm probably just gonna make, like, a second channel for it, because... I feel like RimWorld could take up a lot unless you uh, cut out a lot of gameplay and only hold like certain things like raids and stuff. But I mod the ever-living crap out of some RimWorld though too. They actually just released a new DLC here recently too. Like another one. One to uh, RimWorld. On my way. And yeah, dude, I loved State of Decay. I played uh, the first one when I was younger, and then they released State of Decay 2. And I played that for a bit. Clear. Search done. Building clear. Ah, so they... Yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, RimWorld would be really oversaturated now. More than likely what I'd do for RimWorld, because I do want to keep the... I'm probably going to keep this channel as like an RTS and like sim-based game. Or, yeah, like uh, sim-building and stuff. So RimWorld, I could do RimWorld on here too, I guess. Um, wouldn't be bad. It is... It's really fun. There is a steep learning curve, though. I will say that. Uh... You will be restarting a lot of uh, a lot of games in the beginning until you learn some stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, like the actual story premise is like you crash la you crash land on a planet, and you kind of like have to survive. And you have like pawns, like people you control individually. Um, Area scavenged. and it goes like heavily into stuff like production. Oh, okay. Nice. We got this done. It's, it's really hard to explain. Like you, it's something you have to look at. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, more than likely if I do do room world, it's, I'm going to have to like look how people edit their videos for like longer gameplays. Um, cause I wouldn't be able to do something like this with it. Because uh, it would most definitely take up a lot. I guess unless I do just like crazy hard games. Uh, and then I'd probably be you know, starting new games a lot. One core of the processor. Jesus. Uh, there's a mod that I use. Um, it, it unlocks like all the threads of your processor and everything. And it honestly gives a lot of FPS. Uh, we're spent in WoW. Dude, I played so much WoW when I was little. Um, there was one of my neighbors when I was younger um, got me into WoW. And I, it was like an addiction to me. Any MMO really is like an addiction to me. Population of 100 population, yeah. gonna like hit up all these small buildings seems like they fixed the pathing a bit though because sometimes when you queue up before uh it would actually break and they wouldn't go to the next buildings uh let's put our little flag just gonna like you know waste some resources on this <laughs> Uh, 
Another thing is I would recommend rushing the research for fortified stuff because they have so much HP. 50 floor building for new HQ. Yeah. Uh, now, when you do a new HQ, does it still have the storage cap on it or no? It does not. Oh, because I know you usually get a storage cap for your first bu building you choose, but it looks like you don't get a cap anymore. Yeah, I'm hoping that they make it to where you can actually change the image on the flag to like a custom image that you yourself make. Because uh, I think that would be really cool to be able to do. It's too busy playing Resident Evil games over and over. God, you know, Resident Evil 4. I played that on... I had that game on the GameCube when I was little. I had it on the Wii... Ah, oh, I used to be petrified of that game, but I used to still play it all the time. And then, like, Resident Evil 5. Um, oh, I can't remember what they are. I think it was, like, Resident Evil 2 and stuff on the original PlayStation. Uh, I I used to play Resident Evil. Zombie stuff in general is always, like, been my favorite growing up. Like, even now. I, I love, like, zombie apocalypse-style things. You know, hence the reason why I'm playing in... Something like it. <laughs> and RTSs have always been... RTSs and strategy games have always been, like, some of my favorite. I have looked at that. Actually, I think I have it on my, like, followers thing on, um... On Steam. Uh, because I've been trying to, like, pay attention to some games. I looked up some gameplay of it, and it didn't look too bad. But at the same time, it was just, like, one of those games where, like, I've been... There's other games I want to play over it at the moment. <laughs> like, like it's a game I'll probably get in the future. But just not at the moment. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, Lord, have you have you seen the huge controversy currently over Resident Evil 5? There is like a massive controversy over it right now if they do try to remake it. I... I tried StarCraft, but my biggest issue with StarCraft was just, it was just so spammy. Dude, I, I love Total War Warhammer. Wait a minute, let me, uh, let me show you something here. I love any of the Total War games. No, I don't have all the achievements anymore. No, I think because they released a new DLC here lately, recently. Um... I had all of the achievements for Warhammer 3. Ah, uh, I don't have it anymore. I'm sad. I'm going to have to go back and get them all again. But yeah, 106 out of 138. So they recently added more uh, achievements to Warhammer 3. But yeah, as you can see here, all my games that I play. Uh, I have a lot of games. Yeah, <laughs> the games I've kind of been playing here recently because I've played some DayZ with some of my buddies. I've actually played with some Australians that are in, that were in my uh, that joined the Discord. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Apex here lately. Uh, just something to play. Some Hoi Four. If you guys have never played Hearts of Iron, it is a very fun game. Uh, there is a steep learning curve on it, though. I will say that there is a massive learning curve. Um. Oh, they actually have an update for the map editor for Infection Free Zone. Yeah, here's RimWorld. <laughs> so, I had originally owned RimWorld when it was on its own launcher before it even came to Steam. And I still have 526 hours on RimWorld outside of its own launcher. <laughs> yes, I have tried the Fallout mod for Hoi4. And I love it, dude. Um, let me see. My buddy always laughs at me because any... So, currently, I have about 800 hours in Hoi4. Um, and as you can see here, I was... I'm trying to go for a lot of the uh, achievements in Hoi4 also. That's why I have, like, a bunch of them. Because <laughs> anytime I feel like playing it, I'm usually like, oh, I'm going to go do that or do something else. But I have downloaded so many mods for this game. Yeah, I got Helldivers too. I, uh, I played it a bit. I have t about 25 hours. I think I got to above level 20. A lot of my friends just kind of, like, stopped playing it, so I kind of stopped playing it. Um, 
if you guys are down to play, you know, some hill divers, I'm down because it's a lot more fun to play with people. Oh, here, let me show you guys my guy, uh, you guys, my PC. So this is actually my current PC right now that I built here recently. That's my current rig. Um, actually for Hoi4, some of my buddies, or one of my buddies, uh, who also plays Hoi4, we're actually looking to get, um, like, people together to do, like, just big games, like, multiplayer games and stuff. Oh, yeah. Dude, so this case alone was, like, $300, and it came with no fans. I had to buy all the fans, which cost me, like, another $200. I was big sad, but I wanted this case so bad. So, so bad. Yeah, I actually, so I originally bought this when I got my back pay <laughs> from the VA. But yeah, this is my, uh, this is my Steam, uh, account currently. So I actually have six perfect games right now with achievements. One of them, you know, being, uh, being Starfield, because I play, I, I actually, I enjoyed Starfield to a point. And then a lot of my, uh. You know, stuff here. And then right now, I actually have about 60 hours in Infection Free Zone right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, uh, just join the, join the Discord. And, you know, uh, I still gotta edit some stuff on the Discord. But then we'll be good to go. At least I'm always usually down to play. Uh, because I try to play other things, like, outside of my recordings, uh, on Infection Free Zone. Because I try not to burn myself out on it. Uh, so I have a MSI, uh, 2080 Ti. I have the limited, I have a limited edition version of it. I have not. I have really, really, really been wanting to, um, uh, watch the new Fallout show. It's something that I need to do here recently. I've just had a lot going on with, uh, school, and then this last month with the channel has been crazy. Like, I would have never guessed that, because actually, yeah, tomorrow the channel will be a month old. And we have 1,098 subs right now on our YouTube channel. Hey, 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 hey you leave that tower alone. You leave that alone, good sir. Uh, this does not look good. Um, get back in the car. You gotta go save the boys. No, 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 no! Why are you getting out over there? No, no, no! No, the boys! The boys! No, all of the boys! Yeah, they- it really has. We have lost all of the boys. <laughs> so, uh, they have changed when the first swarm hits, uh, because uh, normally it's the eighth when the first swarm hits. <laughs> yeah, usually the first swarm will hit you on the 8th. Uh, apparently not for me. I got hit on the 5th. I don't know if that's randomized now or what, but uh, we got we to gotta have a memorial now for the boys. Oh, don't tell me there's more. Dude, my people are probably so angry. Oh, it's only three percent. It's fine. They're only they're only slightly mad that we just lost eight people. <laughs> they're only slightly mad. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, something that's cool though is depending on where your location is, uh, it'll actually rename the people. Uh, and will actually be in the native uh, language of that area. Which is really cool.
We gotta we gotta hold a memorial now though. We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of eight brothers in arms. Who died to the hands of the infected and who are now infected. Could you imagine if your squads would actually turn into infected? That would, uh, that'd be kind of rough. People going down and they become, you know. Uh, well, that wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, rip the boys. Oh, yeah. I kind of at a loss for words. We I mean we lost the boys. Not gonna lie though, I was not expecting the guys in this building to get got. I thought it was just gonna be these guys because there were so many swarms up here. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. I gotta get better at multitasking when I'm talking. <laughs> I gotta get better at like just AFK doing things. Oh, but it changed, yeah. Yeah, because I know, um... Ah, what is it? They Are Billions? Or no. Is that what is that what the game's called? Uh, let me check real quick. Where, like, if you lose your buildings, like, anybody that was in the buildings would, like, get murked and change. Yeah, 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 They Are Billions. I remember when this game first came out, dude, it hit, like... It, it hit the gaming community by storm. So you don't ever let your guard down for real. Ready for Clear. I'm mostly just looking to do like a little bit of time in, uh, in each places. Uh, if you guys like recommend any places, uh, we'll probably check them out. This isn't really like for long for like long long-term gameplay at the moment since it's just for the stream because uh, like right here like this area is like you know a place that somebody had recommended Kingsland England yeah ah we're at 1099 subs now Thank you for this, the tactical trash trailer. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, that boy's a coming. Hey, Tom. Uh, I'm hey, 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 you leave that alone. Stop touching that. The Italian start map is good. Uh, is it the recommended map that you're talking about? Because I actually do want to look through um, like all of the recommended maps. Because there is an achievement to survive 12 days on each of the recommended maps. And I, like I guess I really want to see what they all look like too. Because when I first got this, there was only like three recommended maps. And now there's like 10 or something like that. There, there's a decent amount of them. Uh, somebody had brought that up in the past, if they were going to add multiplayer, and they said they'd have to rebuild the engine from the ground up. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm also streaming on Twitch as well. So that's why sometimes you hear me talk, and you don't see it in your specific chat. I'm, I'm It's probably in the other chat. <laughs> I am dual streaming at the moment. But most of my viewership currently is on YouTube. But, you know, it's kind of a given when most of my viewership that... You know, came to me on YouTube, uh, is for this game. Like, well, I say most, like, everybody, like, my entire view channel was built on this game so far. <laughs> Funny enough. Oh, thank you, my guy. Yeah, currently between both Twitch and YouTube, we have 55 viewers. I would have never guessed, like, so on the 12th of last month, because, like, tomorrow will be, a, this channel will be a month old, um, I uploaded my first video to YouTube, and it, it was getting, like, some search results from people searching Infection Free Zone, uh, but, like, on the second or third day of that video being out, 
it absolutely just started blowing up. And then I started releasing some more videos. I think that was like my... And at that point, I think I only had like 5 to 10 hours roughly in the game. Um, and like that video to this point, I think still has the most views. And it has just like... The, the algorithm has just like blessed me. <laughs> now given though, there are some people who are also like uh, uploading videos of this game. But they kind of already had a following beforehand. Um, but, like, they're getting, like, within the first 24 hours, like, 10,000 views on the video. And I'm just like, God, dude. That's wild. Uh, probably here and there. Uh, usually just depends on how I feel. Um, I do deal with, like, some mental health stuff from, uh, when I was in the army. That I take medication for. Um, so, it usually just depends on how I feel. Like, yesterday, I wasn't even really feeling like leaving my bed yesterday, but then I was like, ah, I'm gonna do a stream, why not? And so I streamed for like two hours yesterday. Um, I wasn't 100% feeling it. If you were in that stream yesterday, you could probably tell. Um, I just didn't even want to be at my computer. Uh, <laughs> but I, I feel a lot better today. There's some lag on the Twitch one, is there? Uh, let me check real quick. Oh, there's a delay. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't think I have a D. I don't actually have a delay turned on. That might just be Twitch. Uh, it might just be Twitch that's doing it. I'm not 100% sure because I know there's no delay actually on the stream for uh for Twitch. Because uh, YouTube would also have a delay at that point, because it would be through um, uh, Streamlabs. Yeah, yeah, Blitz said he's not having any issues. Okay. That's what I just needed to make sure of that real quick. Uh, <laughs> See, I don't know what this is. I keep getting this keyframe frequency error on uh, YouTube. I'll have to see what that is in the future. Um... Because I think I was getting it yesterday, too. It's like, please use, a key, please use a keyframe frequency of four seconds or less. Currently, keyframes are not being sent often enough. Oh, hello. Hey, stop touching that. Let's see. Actually, I'll do this. Uh, you're going to stay here, defend some of these towers. You're going to go out and uh, hit up some of these. So I'm wondering if the main swarm's still going to come on day 8 or not. Because it seems like I got hit by an earlier swarm already. Yeah, because I think I have it... Um. I think I have low latency on, on YouTube also to where um, it should be like much faster or like much uh, less delay. He's highlighted, but who cares? <laughs> oh yeah, you redeemed the uh, highlight message that I have on, yeah, yeah. Because you can redeem points through Twitch to uh, highlight messages. We're, on the move. We're gonna see how day uh, the alpha infected yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cause that was something that they actually released uh, during the alpha, like before release was the. Uh, funny enough, the alpha, uh, the alpha infected, the big boy, the chonker. The man, the myth, the legend himself. <laughs> we need more resources. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. But yeah, we are gonna, here in a second, we're gonna go check out all the, uh... Thank you, my man. Thank you, Tim. Uh, we we're gonna check out the recommended maps, and we're gonna go through all the recommended maps and try to do, like, 12 days on each one to see if we can get the achievement. Uh, they changed some stuff with the release, because I think there's, like, this little calendar here now. Um, I got hit by an early swarm compared to, like, when they normally happen, so I don't know if that's something that they're doing new now. Uh, but overall, I don't think there's any, ma like, anything major. They didn't release any patch notes with the release, like they did with the last big one. They saw something gruesome. Try to kill it. In San Diego? Yeah, I can. That's actually where I was born. That's uh, that's my birthplace. I was born in San Diego. So I've noticed the infected are a lot more, um, a lot more angry. <laughs> Oh yep, so the so the main horde still does come. Yep. Chief, did you hear that? There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. No, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so the main horde still does come. Building clear. Let's see how big the main horde is now. Or the swarm. I keep uh, getting it mixed up because I know like the small little groups are called hordes. Yeah, dude, oh, I don't know how anybody's going to be getting that achievement to survive with only one survivor. Uh, gamer, try uh, try refreshing your web browser. See if that uh, see if that helps. So is this actually the swarm? Because that is not a big s The other swarm that hit me before swarm night was a much bigger swarm than this. Oh, never mind. I lied. Here they are. <laughs> I was wrong. Hey, come here. Follow me. What do you mean, my own little home lab? Ah, oh, no, we lost the tower! Hey, right, we're actually gonna... We survived that horde night. We're gonna go look at the recommended maps, and I'm gonna see if I can get that achievement, too. Oh, are you saying, like, like, uh... Like, for my own background and stuff? Like, uh, you know, like, my room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually do have an extra room um, that I'm actually thinking about doing that with. Uh, currently, I guess for whenever I do have my camera on at any point, uh, I do have a vector and a uh, AR-15 actually on my wall, mounted to my wall. A network infrastructure. I actually do have plans to set up a network closet in my house. Um, so we're gonna go from top to bottom just to make this a bit easier. So we'll start in Crofton, USA. Yeah. Because uh, I'm actually going to be getting... Because I have fiber internet through Spectrum. Uh, but we're always going to start with more people. I like the more people start. Um, but there's a new company that's uh, setting up fiber in my area that's actually cheaper. And it's a gig up and a gig down when the internet that I have now is a gig down, but only like 40 megs up. Uh, so once they finish getting the fiber set up in my area, I'll actually be swapping over to them. And it's gonna be so nice with having a gig up. 
Uh, but once they do that, they're actually gonna rerun my lines in my house because they're doing fiber directly to the house. Ah, so channel. Oh, this is, isn't this the location for the, uh, prologue? Yeah, this is the location for the prologue, right? Yep, symmetrical speeds. Yeah, this is the location for the prologue. God, it's been so long since I've played the prologue. It's funny, because I actually have, uh, I, I have a switch and stuff already that was given to me. Like, I have a massive switch. Uh, I have some extra computers from my last job that were pretty much getting tossed. I'm going to turn one of them into a server. And I'm going to turn it into a network server to where I can upload all of my, like, previously recorded videos and stuff to it and be able to save all my videos there. Um, no, another net provider has fiber. Yeah. Um, God, what was I going to say? I forget now. Uh, brain, brain Gobert. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, my dad actually ordered a new graphics card for my dad. Uh, so I can go put that in for him, but I'm going to be taking his old graphics card. Uh, and I'm going to be setting up a separate PC. That's going to be my editing PC. So that way I can actually have videos render and I can still use my computer to like stream or do other things. Um, because like I said, I do have some I do have some parts. I'm just gonna throw them together into a new rig and have it as my editing PC. Cause I render I record and render in 4K. And so whenever I go to render a video, like an hour long video takes me roughly two hours to render. Um so that way I could, you know, I could just have it off to the side, rendering my video, uploading my video, and then I could still do things on my own rig and not have to worry about any of that. But that's kind of like my plans for the future at the moment. <laughs> and now that I'm actually monetized on YouTube, which is phenomenal, um, the money that I get from YouTube, I'm just going to pretty much put back into it. So for like stuff like my new rig, for editing, uh, some streaming stuff, a lot of it I already have. Uh, Cause like my, I use Conva. I pay for Conva to edit like all my thumbnails and everything. Uh, so that way the money that I get from like my ad revenue and everything, I'm going to put towards uh, like paying, paying for that stuff and everything, which is gonna be nice. That way I'm not paying like as much out of pocket. Just, you know, for my videos. Uh, let's see. We are going to straight up. We're going to build a warehouse out the gate. Actually, wait, no, we can move. Yeah, we can move headquarters now. Uh, let's see. I haven't played the prologue in so long. What's actually here now? Building wise. No, so you needed uh, 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subs to get fully monetized. Because uh, there's two tiers of monetization. There's the first tier is 500 subs and 3,000 watch hours. And then the main tier is 1,000 subs, 4,000 watch hours. Which we are actually at like 12,000 watch hours now. Like like we have gotten 12 hours. 12, 12, uh, the, 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 the words are hard. 12,000 watch hours. Which is crazy. Like, when I thought about it, I was like, man, I've, like, people have dedicated 12, like, people have given me 12,000 hours of their time. You know, we might do a little fort, a uh, little fort here, though, to be honest. Uh, do you like what I did in the prologue originally? Hey, we just reached 1,100. <laughs> Uh, you have to apply for it yourself. Uh, you usually see it in the earn section. Uh, once I reached the uh, 500 subs and 3,000 watch hours, I applied for it. Uh, it says it takes up to a month because they have to review your account. I think mine took like, I think it took like a week. And then once I uh, reached the 1,000 sub mark, uh, it just gave me a new option that I could click that was just enable monetization. No more to find. 
I did not think about that. Does this game work on a Steam Deck? That would actually be pretty cool if it does. I've been wanting to get a Steam Deck, but I just don't really leave the house as much anyway, so I just haven't, like, even looked into getting a Steam Deck. <laughs> that would be cool. Oh, that's great. That, that's, that's awesome. Oh, people are actually uploading stuff to the Steam Workshop now. Oh, like, what is, are these just maps? Yeah, I would say, yeah, the requirements for the game doesn't seem to be that high, especially, like, their minimum requirements. Yeah, it looks like people are uploading maps to the Steam Workshop now. Uh, I can't wait for mods for this game, dude. Mods would be wild. Because, uh, like, the modding community in any game is usually just, like, crazy. Hey, welcome back, Maximum. Oh, nope. I meant to cue that. Uh, oh, I don't like it. He's just, okay, I was gonna send him there, but, uh, that effect is just, like, hanging out right there. Hey, uh, you can just stay over there, please. So let's see, what do we get? We got no extra handguns, big sad. On my way. Ready for action. Let's do it. Going there. Oh yeah, I was gonna say he should get get got before uh <laughs> coming back. Operator, let's do it. Uh I think I have about sixty hours now in in infection free zone. And that's kind of like spaced out between the last year. Most of my hours are pr pr pretty much from here recently, though. Um, you know, cause from rec recording the videos and stuff. Yes, yeah, so I have 59 hours on record currently for Infection Free Zone. What GP are you putting in your dad's rig? Uh, It is... I know it's a 3060. I can't remember exactly which one. Because right now on Newegg, uh, the 3060s are going for a really, really good price compared to like, uh, like COVID times. Because uh, I think it's like 300 bucks for a 3060, like a 12 gigabyte 3060 right now. Because uh, currently he has a 3 gigabyte like 1060. And it just does not work out for him. But all he really plays is like the division. You have 200 plus hours already? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, so I got him a, a Ventus 12GB uh, 3060. It should actually be here tomorrow, and I'm going to like head over to his house and put it in his rig. Operator. Let's do it. But I'm going to be keeping his graphics card, though, and uh, throwing it into an editing PC that I'm going to be making. Ah, see, I wasn't sure if they would update the playtest or not, or if they would just keep it, like, as the, that version of the demo. I kind of like this recommended map. Well, I, I guess it is the prologue map. Um, but I do like it. It's not bad. Oh, he went inside. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this guy. Uh... child must have been no older than three it ran on all fours like an animal and jumped into the sewers before we could get it for the love of god if they can multiply uh, i don't even want to think what's going to happen yeah so like this event right here makes it sound like uh 
that they are that they're reproducing is what they're making it sound like. Just let it go. Let it go. Poor kids suffered enough. They are priced well. Nvidia is actually getting ready to release 50 series soon. Yeah. So like I said, I have a 2080 Ti, and I really want to get one of the new ones when they drop like the 50 series. Uh. I just can at the moment, <laughs> or probably in the future. I'm currently on like a fixed income right now through the VA. Uh, but it's something that I am looking forward to at least seeing how the 50 series are. Because something I'm going to be sad about is if the 50 series is literally just like 2% like faster than like the 40 series or something like that. But at the moment, my 2080 Ti, like, it, it's really, it's really nice. It works really well for me. Uh, now that I actually have that warehouse up, we're just gonna, we're gonna hoard as much wood as we can. We got, got like ants. Chief, we found some medical supplies. They'll definitely come in hand. Yep. A med bay sounds like a good idea. We'll think of that. Uh, once you finish that, you're gonna go over here and get that since there's no infected around it now. There you go. Uh, let's see. I'm really hoping they buffed production of farms, though. Because honestly, farms are kind of useless, I feel like. Uh, at least at the moment. Because the amount of people you dedicate to farms, even with fertilizer... Oh, thank you, my guy. Thank you for the $2. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, uh, it's been crazy. Like, uh, it, everything's just been nuts. Uh, did he actually... S okay, so we got it. He's just not done searching it. Nope, okay. Uh, it's getting nighttime. Sitting here. We're gonna, we're gonna hang out. Till he gets back with the research. <laughs> Thank you so much, my guy. Was it House of Queens? Yeah. Clear. Infected incoming. <laughs> Something I actually plan on doing too, because like you know, some people like when they get their play button, they'll like put up their play button. Uh, whenever I get my first paycheck from Google, now that I'm uh, uh monetized and stuff, I'm gonna. Cause they're they're gonna they're gonna more than likely direct deposit it, but I'm gonna go to the bank, get, get have the bank give me one dollar, and then I'm going to print out the transaction, uh, of them. Oh, your girl. So I I, I default to calling everybody, dude. <laughs> I guess that would make sense with queens in your name. Oh, hey, there goes the super chat. That was, that super chat donation was really delayed. I just realized that. Unless you can, unless you can like click it to have it show, but I don't know. That's, that's really delayed. I don't know if that was just YouTube, but God. Okay, <laughs> sorry for calling you dude. I don't know anything about PC and I'm new, but I get new RAM and more memory now. My games load so fast. Yeah. So, something I will always, 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 always recommend to anybody um, that's building a PC. Because everybody, everybody's thought process on PC building is always either, um, yeah, it's, honestly, it is crazy hard to get viewers on Twitch compared to, like, YouTube. Because uh, I had streamed in the past on Twitch and it just didn't really work out that well. But so far, like, on YouTube, like, right now, overall, between both YouTube and Twitch, like, we have 53 viewers. Like, it is, it is why, which 50 of them are from YouTube. <laughs> um, but, uh, everybody always neglects their RAM. They'll either neglect their RAM or they won't get an SSD. Uh, they'll get, like, some massive hard drive. Uh, I always recommend, like, RAM or, uh, or an SSD, like, if you just have like that little bit extra to put into your rig and go with like, you know, maybe something that's like slightly cheaper graphics card wise or like slightly cheaper, uh, 
processor wise uh, than compared to like, you know, just getting like a crazy good graphics card, but then neglecting everything else. Uh, that's, that's like, like I said, that's always my thing. Uh, Cause currently in my rig, I have, forget about the storage. You love watching it on YouTube. Yep. I am actually, so, so something I was planning on doing is on my community discord. Thank you, my guy. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Like, oh my God. Ah, uh, uh, something, so something I'm planning on doing on the community discord is I'm going to make a page for like rigs or rig help. So if you, if you're needing help with like, uh, like upgrading your rig or you don't know what to upgrade, or if you just want to show off your rig that you currently have, uh, you can post in there. Um, I'm totally down to help if I have free time and I just like, you know, go and look in there, uh, and like make recommendations or anything like that. Cause I have built so many computers <laughs> over the years. Like I have, uh, it has just always been my thing to like for the new people that are here. I have three associates degrees in information technology. I have, and I'm two classes away from finishing my bachelor's. Uh, this is my current rig and all of its specs listed. I'm going to show it real quick on the screen capture. So yeah, this is my current rig. I'm not sure if this is fully up to date. I know the cases, uh, yeah, the RAM is because I have two 32 gigabyte sticks. Uh, yeah, my 2080 Ti, uh, my radiator, yeah, my cooler. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I have an i9-12900K, which is actually overclocked. And then yeah, Zeus uh, ROG Maximus. So yeah, this, this should be all be updated from when I last built this. But yeah, this is my, this is my current rig. It's my baby. <laughs> and then this was actually my old rig that I ended up selling to a friend right here. And as you can see, my little setup right here, I have a little side table and stuff too. Team Blue, yeah. I, I, so when I first ever built my PC, um, I went with, uh, yeah, I do overclock. Uh, well, Intel does an old, like uh, they have an auto overclocking feature, which is really nice. Like it is crazy nice. Uh, cause I used to have run AMD when I first built my computer, like freshman year of high school, my very first PC. Uh, cause it was just something cheap at the time. Um, I think I had a black edition AMD CPU and I had like a two gigabyte AMD graphics card. It was like my very first things I ever bought to put in a computer because, uh, what got me first into PC gaming was, uh, Daisy mod back when I was in middle school and I played it on a laptop and I, <laughs> I played Daisy mod like on Arma 2 at like 15 FPS for the longest time. And then freshman year of high school, I finally saved up a good bit of money and put together my first like actual PC. And I remember my dad was so mad at me because he co-signed a credit card for me too with a $300 limit and I instantly maxed it out. Ah. <laughs> uh. I had that $300 credit card for so long though. Any got to go for three to four hours. Oh yeah. I'll see you, my guy. Yeah. Ready for action. But that was like my first experience building like an actual PC. Early two thousands. Yep. Ah. From an ATI to a Voodoo card. I have, after going with the AMD route, I have always stuck with uh, MSI when it comes to graphics cards because I love their overclocking software. Uh, their, uh, uh, like their firmware updates and stuff are really nice. Their cards are really nice. I haven't had any issues with any MSI cards and that's like, that, that's like built, putting it in people's computers that I've built to you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Queens. I actually, uh, on my community discord, uh, I have played currently I've played some DayZ with some people. Uh, I'm looking to play some other games too. Cause that was one of the things I was showing off a second ago were some of the games. Uh, some of the guys was asking about, uh, uh, Bra 
brains go brains not working uh hell divers too uh currently like right now uh on the channel it's kind of rts based i might do some other games stream wise too but i just don't know how well they'd be i'm guess i'd say they do decent because like you guys are like on the channel phenomenal like you guys have like followed like everything i've been doing which is really nice uh also if you do not know, I do post on YouTube in the community uh, tab. So for the messages, uh, I do actually post in there quite regularly with like updates and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to like post more in the Discord also. Uh, I'm trying to do a lot more of that. Uh, I've gotten a lot used, a lot more used to it. Reliable. I tend to lean towards Zeus and pretty flexible when it comes to GPU, but lately I've been stuck to sticking to AMD. AMD's been doing a lot, lot better than they used to. Um, cause like back when I was younger, AMD was just like the best cheap option. If you, if you had the money, like if you didn't have the money for like say a Nvidia card or something like that, they were like the next best option. I'm surprised Nvidia or Intel's making uh, graphics cards now. It is wild to me that Intel is making graphics cards now. I would have never guessed Intel making graphics cards before. Uh, let's see. We're going to set up. I'm trying to think of where to set up this tower at. Hmm. Honestly, if we lose the warehouse out the gate, it's not too bad. We'll put the tower over here to protect the uh, HQ a bit more. We'll kind of do something like this. Yeah. Why did that turn? I do not like that. Uh, so it actually released today. Uh, it released at 1 p.m. today. We are out of resources. Uh, I also need to build... Oh, I need a research center first, uh, Chris. Uh... Oh yeah, so my name is actually Chris, uh, so you'll probably hear me say like, duh, Chris, or something like that a lot, because my brain will flatline sometimes, and I will totally forget stuff, and then I'll like totally, and I'll like, I say totally, uh, I'll remember it out of nowhere, and I'll just be like, duh, and I'll like say my name. But yeah, so, not to confuse you, my name is Chris, by the way, or it's Christopher, but everybody calls me Chris for short. Yeah, so that's, like, the biggest thing with this game, I feel like, is, uh, like, its main appeal is being able to build and go anywhere. Uh, right now, we're just, I'm going for one of the achievements to survive 12 days on each of the maps, on each of the recommended maps. Uh, so, like, this is the first one. This is actually Crafton, or Crofton. Is it Crofton or Crafton? I, I don't remember now. Oh, yeah, yeah, it actually came out discounted, funny enough. I was totally surprised by that. Uh, God, just a bunch more ammo. Uh, we're going to pause real quick. I'm going to see if I can find any more. Oh, we have a barn here. Honestly, though, this map's pretty good when it comes to uh, stuff that's on it. I can see why they make this a recommended map. This is actually the prologue map, too. Yeah, but the, honestly, the last week, they have made so many updates. Like, it is really surprising the amount of updates they have made in this last week. Uh, let's start tearing down some of these buildings. Because we don't have bricks around us, do we? Like a brick pile? I don't think we do. Did they have a brick pile in the prologue? Like, I feel like one of these buildings wasn't here in the prologue. I wonder if that's random. You would have paid 40. I actually think I did pay. I think I paid like 45 or $50 for this game. Uh, but I did the backer stuff. So I think I get like future DLCs and stuff. I want to say. I forget. I know I ended up buying like the most expensive backer package. Uh, last year. Because I was watching this game for so long. Oh, a game for you guys to keep your eyes on is uh, Banner Lords. Comes out on the 24th. It is a game that you will see on the channel for sure. Because I am probably going to play a bunch of Banner Lords. I've been watching Banner Lords for like two years now, I think. And oh my god. 
Yeah, like 40-ish. Yeah, it was around 40. But that is a game I cannot wait for, and they said 24th it's going to release, and I am, like, all about it. Uh, let's see. They got one tool out of that. That sucks so much. They got one tool. Uh, they're almost full, though, is the issue, too. Uh, I came through here from time to time, but have you played I'm Legend Will Smith game? I have. I, I, I think I heard they were making a game. I know they were making a second movie for I Am Legend. Um, I did not know that they were making a game. I gotta look this up because that's one of my favorite movies, hands down, is I Am Legend. But I think that's just because it's like an apocalypse style movie. Is it not on Steam? Let's see. I Am Legend Game. Oh, it's I Am Legend Survive. Wait, this came out in 2007? Is that the one you're talking about? I Am Legend Survival? I, I have not heard of this. Oh, no, they're coming out with a new one. Oh, yeah, I Am Legend New Horror Game, 2023. Or is that a new game? Or, is the, or are they just going over that last one that came out in 2007? Because I see a video that says 2023 on one. But when I search I Am Le Legend Game, it says I Am Legend Survival Video Game 2007 on IMDb. Uh, I'm going to search 2023 and see if... Because it's about the movie... Ah... Uh... I am not seeing it. Oh, it's Undawn and Will Smith. Huh. Honestly, with Undawn making this too, I feel like it would be pretty wild of a game. Because Undawn made uh, The Division, right? Is that who, is that who made The Division? Or not. I don't think so. Wait, maybe not. Almost worth it for the lulls. <laughs> oh, so Undone is its own game. Uh, oh, okay. I thought that was like a dev team. Ah, because I see that they were like working with Will Smith to make a I Am Legends game. Huh. It's something I'll pull, still probably check out. I am like a video game addict. I will I will pretty much try any video game or play any video game. <laughs> but it's, yeah. Oh, so it was Undone that he backed. Ah, oh, dude, that saddens me. Uh, I thought it was like a new game that was going to be like awesome just because it's like based on I Am Legend. That saddens me so much. Uh, something that always saddens me is when, like, celebrities will back a game. And then they just, like, they don't do anything with it. Like, they'll, they'll back it. And then the only thing that they back it with is, like, their image. They won't, like, help with it. They won't, like, you know, be like, oh, hey, let me come and, you know, test the game for you or something like that. Like, play the game. And then it comes out and it flops, and then they just distance themselves from the game. Because I honestly feel like, you know, say if like a game like that, say if Will Smith was playing it, since he's in it. Uh, Will Smith's not even one of the characters. What? That baffled, the image that I saw, it looked like a character, it looked like Will Smith. 
Why would they not have Will Smith as a character if he's back? And I'm so confused. I, I am so confused. <laughs> I am dumbfounded by that. It's an Asian guy? What? Is there a police station down here? I see some grains. I see a barn. Oh, yep, there it is. I was like, I know I saw one down here earlier. You're not alone? Yeah. No, nah, dude, the game that hurt me the most was, uh, God, the day after? Or is it the day before? I can't remember. I think it was the day before. Yeah. Is that what it was called? I can't remember now. That game flopped so hard. I was so looking forward to that game. Like Vin Diesel or Ark 2? <laughs> oh my god. Have you heard anything? Oh, is it this group that attacks now? Uh, stay here, just in case. Because we did get hit by that one group, if you remember. In the other one. So I'm wondering if they do an early swarm, too. Because I had that same event last time. Look at these crawling boys. But yeah, I was so looking forward to that game and everything, and then it just flopped. It flopped so hard. Hey, hey, you stay away. Oh, uh, you also stay away. There we go. But, ah, oh, dude, that hurts. That hurts so much. Like, ah. Uh... Oh, yep, so I was right. So, yeah, th there is an early horde now. I, I did pre-order it, and I did play for over, like, the four-hour mark. Um, but I ended up sending Steam a very strongly worded, like, letter <laughs> slash message in my, uh... Bro, what? They are destroying that so fast. Oh, my God. Uh, can you guys, like, stop, please? Follow me. So they hit you with such an early horde now. Like I'm really surprised they hit you with an with a horde this early. Or a swarm in quotations, not not technically a horde cuz this is considered a horde. Receiving. We're on the move. There are some infected around. It's just sad. I mean, there's so many games that like look so good, but they're just total flops. Yeah, yeah, they gave me my money back. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> yeah, so they uh, so they denied me the first time. And so I sent, like, a very strongly worded one next time. And then they actually refunded me that time. And then my buddy uh, couldn't get a refund for it at first. And then he actually ended up getting a refund for it. Because they denied his first refund, uh, too. And then they opened it up to where everybody got a refund. Like, the next few days after, or something like that. <laughs> the day after. <laughs> uh, let's see. The deal with the swarm, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Survive, it was bad. Like, um... So, the development company that made the game legit went bankrupt a week after the release of the game. Not tonight, the game. Um, I actually, I've enjoyed this a lot. Uh, I have roughly, I have 60 hours in this already. Uh, because I did back it before, so I had an early access key. Um... I would honestly say, like, they, they've been updating it a lot in the last week to get it ready for release today. Uh, so it is a lot better. They fixed a lot of the bugs. Um, just based on being able to survive anywhere, I would say this game is worth it. Uh, because anytime you choose a new place, it's technically a new game experience, I would say. 
I bought Total War Pharaoh and ended up getting some money, getting some money back because the price dropped on the game. Wait, there was a, wait, what? Total War made a game called Total War Pharaoh? I have like every Total War game, but I did not know that. Uh, Total War... When did they release this? What? I have never heard of this. Oh god, the mixed reviews though. <laughs> the shitty little place you come from. Yeah, I had never heard of Total War Pharaoh. I did not know that they released it. Um, My three favorite, like, forever favorite Total War games is Total War, uh, is it Empire? I want to say it's Empire. Yeah, yeah, Total War Empire. Uh, because, you know, I get to 1776 everything, uh, you know, being from the United States. But I don't know, I just, I just love, like, the musket play and everything. Uh, Total War Shogun 2 is also one of my favorites. And a Total War game for replayability, like, I would say almost unlimited replayability, is Total War Warhammer 3. Total War Warhammer in general. Um, but 3 has the most content, because 3 has all the content from the first Total War and all, and all the content from the second Total War. Uh, Total War Warhammer 3 is baller. I really liked uh, Medieval 2 Total War, but it's just so old at this point. If they remade it, it would hands down be my favorite. If they remade it. If they did a remake. Faked all the pre-release video footage, and when the game dropped, it was filled with bugs. Oh, are you talking about the day before? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. That game, I was really sad about it. I honestly was. Um... I I was just hoping I I, I had a little a little copage there I, I was coping a bit. No more to find. Search done. Clear. Like my first two hours of gameplay, I was just like like it was fun because it was new, but it was like after roughly three to four hours of gameplay, it was just like you you, you just seen the suck. Uh, do we have... Oh, there we go. I was looking for any more of these places, because I have not been finding, like, any firearms anywhere. Uh, we're gonna start tearing down some of these extra buildings. What we're probably gonna do is we're gonna keep these buildings here. Uh, probably keep these ones and these ones, and then build around this, maybe. Yeah. Just seen the suck. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> And it, it was just ah, uh, it was just one. It was just one of those things that I was just really hoping would be a good game. Building clear. Uh, there wasn't anything in that building. Yeah, we're gonna need to start getting some ve some more vehicles with just how like far these buildings are go are getting like away. We're gonna bring you back just in case. Yeah, you gotta embrace the suck. That's that's usually how how it's said in Fubar. Nobody really says Fubar anymore. I feel like that's just like an old. Uh, it's like an old, more old saying. Some people might say it as like a ha-ha here or there. Um, but usually most people just, you know, embrace the suck. Because there is a lot of suck in the military. But, you know, there's also a lot of uh, fun times. Because it's, it's literally just hanging out with the boys half the time. Uh, let's see... But not the suck. Yeah. I prefer sucks without braces. <laughs> oh Jesus. Ah. Uh. 
Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, let's see. So we're at, what, seven? I think I did tools. Or, no, I did not do tools already. Well, rip. Okay, so we got to get some more research points then. Research points. Uh, research material. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. Any more? Oh, hello. Sir, we've spotted some people. They're probably armed. So these guys are always going to be aggressive. Um, no matter what, I've come to realize. <laughs> so you always want to take these guys out. Take them out for a nice steak dinner. God, I think I've honestly, I've done a lot more talking than playing, but, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to talk to you guys. Uh, can you guys, like, not, are you, why aren't you shooting back? There you go. Oh, yeah, my man, thank you. Thank you for, uh, thank you for hanging out. Like I said, honestly, like, I am... So surprised by like just the amount of like support and like turnout that I've been getting on like YouTube and on the channel and everything. Like I, yeah, it's I I as I was getting close to a thousand subs, I I didn't know what to think like or what to believe. It was just so mind boggling to me. God, we're gonna need so many warehouses. Uh, we're gonna put a, one of the warehouses off to the side over here. To make it easier to, like, get some of this stuff out. Oh, yeah. So, one of the changes that really, really sucked originally. And if you guys had seen any of my previous gameplay, you would know this. So, originally, when you start um, deconstructing something, they had locked it out to, like, five or ten people. And, but now with the, one of the latest updates, cause so many people were complaining about it, they made it to where it's based on the size of the building. So like, say if we, so say like this building right here, you can have nine. So say this big building right here, deconstruct building, you can have 62. Honestly, one of the best things that they reverted back. Only canned food and wheat. Food of the post-apocalypse. Yeah. Just burgers. If you get a burger and you get a burger. Uh, we're going to lower that so we can put those three guys on there to get that built out. So we got tool factory researched. I'm missing one of my squads. Oh, there they are. Hey, you know, you guys just want to like run back over here. I'm going to have these guys put it in their car. But now, yeah, the future of this game is what I'm really looking forward to. Um, like what, like I said, what they do in the future. One of my biggest fears, because I'm trying not to like, because a lot of the games here recently, like they, they've just been total flops. Uh, one of my biggest things that I've been trying not to do is like be too hopeful for a game, and like disappoint, I like, get disappointed when the game releases when it's just not great. Um. Because there is a lot of overhype for games in the gaming community. Uh, and that's like one of the, the biggest issues that I see a lot of times. And then the game releases and it's it's dog water. Ugh. That was a good stretch. Mm. Come on, daytime. Come on. There we go. Ready for action. Come and finish this. I need that warehouse. Like, now. 
Right now. Uh, so is there going to be a wall that's going to be going around like this, I'd say? I could put a gate over here, actually. Uh, crap, like the car is full and stuff. We really need that to be built. Uh, they should build that quickly because I need to go get some research material. Ready for Ready Everybody's like full up. But I really like that, though. That they say, you know, warehouses are full up there. We're about to hit the, the main swarm night, though. Come on, you guys. Dude, I loved Banished when I was younger. I wish that the devs just didn't give up on that game. Because I think they gave up on it and started developing a new game, didn't they? Yeah. At the moment, though, I haven't really been seeing that many... Like, so far, like, playing today, most of the really common bugs that I was seeing, like, pre-release, I haven't seen as of yet. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? We'll build, like, a little... Little defense right here. Use up some of my resources. Hmm. Do something like this. Kind of protect this a bit from swarms that come. No. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, do something like that. Uh, we're gonna dis- Ah, I wonder if I disband the squad if I'll lose this stuff, though, is the issue. Uh, we'll do this. We'll take these guys down to zero. We'll add them to builders. Boom. Boom. Use up some of these resources. But no, yeah, there's, there's a lot of games that I look forward to, and it's like I try not to overhype myself on them. Because I'm bad about doing that and then, you know, getting disappointed. Because <laughs> that was kind of like my big thing with this game. I was hoping they would fix a lot of the bugs on release. Because uh, I was kind of afraid the game would come out and then just be a total flop. But so far today, everything's been, everything's been wonderful. Like, everything's been great. Nice. Okay, leave. Go back in. About to be a horde night. Kind of wait throughout the night. Uh, we'll blitz the night a bit. Oh, okay. I thought that was the horde. Oh, here they come. Like I said, mostly we're just trying to get to day 12, and then we'll, uh... There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. I want to say it's new, but maybe I just haven't noticed it. I play on, like, a bigger monitor... Um, Get ready to so I might not have noticed it before, but I don't know. I, I want to say it's new or maybe it came out here recently. My memory can just be total haywire sometimes. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, one of the funny things is uh, I've had some swarm nights, uh, like the first swarm night and stuff, actually come out on a full moon before. And it's like, huh, where is everything? Yeah, here they come. Since they're popping up down here, we're going to try to pull, we're going to try to pull at least one of the groups away. Oh god, there goes that warehouse. Oh, they actually lived! Let's go! Ready for 
I started hearing the melee sound from that person. Oh, I can't do that. Big sad. Uh, I wonder if it'll show me my progress on the achievement or not. We'll have to see. Uh, no, because so all of the storage is connected. We'll get over this. We have to. We're all that's left of humanity. Yeah, so like uh, all of the storage is connected. It used to not be, and it used to really, really be bad in the sense of having to like extremely micromanage everything. Um, but they made it a lot more user friendly. It was a, it was honestly a really nice quality of life update. But you can very much uh, cheese it if you've seen some of my videos where like. I have one storage with like 7,000 storage and then I'll have like way far off. I'll have like a warehouse and a tiny shed or like it'll be a, a like slightly adapted where it only costs me like two wood to build the warehouse because it pretty much like teleports your supplies to the rest of the warehouses. Oh God, it's this. Okay. Very nice. Who are you? Uh, you know, just a humble man earning his living on the road. <laughs> uh, I'd say the farthest I've gotten, um, because I, I, I had the early access key. Uh, from backing it before. I'd say the highest I've gotten is like day 60 something before. But that was like, you know, before a lot of the recent updates. At the moment, we're just kind of like going for achievements. So like right now we're going through the recommended maps because I've only ever seen the first two recommended maps, I'd say. And you let my people go. Yeah, yeah. A deal's a deal. <laughs> yeah, Polish game, yep. I'm glad we have an understanding. Let's see if they change this uh mission. So normally with this mission, if you give him the food, he'll take that squad hostage. But you can actually attack him straight after, and there's a high chance you can actually save your squads. Uh, if you don't give it to him straight away, he'll just straight up like, execute your squad that he originally took hostage. But I don't know if they added more var variability to these uh, missions yet. But now, I will say though, they they did really well on this game. Nice and safe. Nice and safe. We kept our end of the bargain. Keep yours, and let my people go. Carrie's still around. Uh, he he's still around. I just haven't seen him yet. Yeah. Oh, I'm coming to get him. You can believe that. Whoa. I see that somebody doesn't like playing by the rules. <laughs> come with supplies, not guns. We're under attack. God damn it, they fooled us. Kill them, boys. I'll get you next time. Ah, uh, I lost two people this go around though. Two, pre two people for the price of an, uh, two AKs, actually. There we go. Or AAK, actually. Nah. We lost two guys, but, you know. It is what it is. 
We're gonna disband the squad actually because we don't need four. Building these brick walls. Uh, I should have actually thrown one of you into the cars because we need more research materials to get the fortified stuff. Nice. But I would recommend, like I said, uh, very early on when it comes to research, always try to get the advanced masonry because the fortified stuff is like crazy strong. Uh, fortified gate, uh, I think has 18,000 HP, while like a fortified wall has like 2,000, and a fortified tower has like 11,000, I want to say. And as long as you're in an area that has, like, decent amount of research uh, materials, uh, you can get that research done really quickly. And then you can start producing it, uh, like, fortified stuff relatively quickly. Hey, my guys. Oh, thank you, my man. That actually makes me, that makes me feel good. I do recommend this game. It is really fun. Um, I want to say... Like, it has, I'd say, almost infinite replayability just because of the fact that you can choose where to build your bases and stuff. Time to sleep, everyone. Tomorrow's another day. That and then one of the cool things I like or is that there's already people in the community of this game that are, like, showing off different base locations, like, cool locations. I have people that will, like, comment on my videos and they'll be like, oh, you should check this place out or you should try this place out. Uh, most of the places that I go for, like, that I choose internationally on a lot of my videos are actually based on recommendations from you guys. No more to find. Another one incoming. Infected incoming. They've definitely updated the, like... Uh, the textures of the buildings a bit, like, over the last week. Because I'd say, like, a month ago, these buildings did not look as good as they do now. Like, high-def-wise high def and everything. Probably be your first playthrough, yeah. I mean, my first playthrough, my very first playthrough I did in this game, um, other than the prologue, so other than the demo, uh, where I could actually choose my own location, was in my local, um, in my local lulls. I, I uh, built a headquarters in my local lulls and uh, played out there because my house, uh, my ho I was like, my house is just too small to be my headquarters. Uh, no, so there will still be um, like you can still find guns technically. So, like, even in, like, these random locations like these, you'll still find handguns and stuff. Uh, you still technically have police stations. So, with it being a police station, uh, you should still be able to get, like, uh, you know, firearms from them. Uh, if your country doesn't really have gun laws, like, it's not going to affect you as much. But, since the United States has, you know, a lot of gun stores, like, I could probably look at my Google Maps right now. And find, like, five local gun shops to me. Um, that's not counting pawn shops that also sell firearms. Just straight up shops that sell firearms. Um, so, like, those pl uh, places for me would actually be, you know, spawning firearms for me. So, certain areas, you know, like, that would have more, more locations or more opportunities to get firearms... Yeah, they'll just be a little bit more scarce. Oh, yep. Let's do it. Uh, wait, had, did I never research the antenna? Oh, I didn't. Whoops. Oh, well, let's finish this first. Oh, hello. Building clear. Oh, 
Yeah. Send them in. Uh, I'm ultimately just trying to get to day 12 for the achievements. Uh, that's kind of like just what the stream is. It's just more of lot, more or less connecting with you guys and talking with you guys more. Um, than like an actual full on gameplay. But we do need some more food to, you know, make it to day 12. Because these are the current achievements in the... Well, I'll wait for this to finish. Operator, we found the Raiders hideout. Yeah. They haven't spotted us yet, and it looks like a perfect opportunity to attack. That's actually a new image. That's a new image, I want to say. Roger that, sir. Yeah, that's new. Uh, Operator. But here, I'll show the achievements right now. Let me go over here. Come on. There we go. So these are the current achievements in the game. So safe haven or save haven. So accept 10 groups of immigrants, uh, build an antenna, kill 100 infected by running them over, kill 1,000 infected, kill 100 infected with melee weapons, um, which is a lot easier than you, you'd think. Like melee weapon, like fighting out in the streets with melee weapons works a lot better than I was expecting it to. Uh, defeat the military and then save the raiders. Uh, the one that we're currently doing, so you can see the rest of them here. It's like gather 500 survivors at once. Uh, every type of building constructed. Survive 50 days in a single location. Uh, deny 10 groups of immigrants. Uh, no tree cutting allowed for 24 days. Fuel engine usage disallowed, so you can't use vehicles and you can't cut trees for 24 days. Uh, shooter, every type of weapon owned. I am legend. This one, I don't know how people are going to beat. I don't know how people are going to get this achievement. Um, cause you gotta survive 12 days with only one survivor. Cause the moment you lose your HQ, it's over unless they changed it. But at the moment, the moment you lose your HQ, it is go it, You're done. So, um, no farming for 50 days, uh, scavenge or eat people. Then kill everyone, but one guy pretty much. That's what I'm guessing. Maybe I guess just like build up so many walls to, or, and like towers and gates and just have nobody in it. Uh, to where it'll just like last you, I guess. Um, this one was broken because I did this yesterday. No farming for 50 days. And I didn't get it. Like it didn't give me the achievement. So I don't know if it was just, I don't know if it's good now on release or what. Um, but we'll have to check that one out in the future. I might do that one off stream because it's like I said, it's just kind of rough to do. Uh, find a prepper fallout shelter. This used to be so much easier to do. They made this super, super hard or a lot more rare and then survive 12 days on every of the recommended maps. I would recommend if you're going for the achievements to do this one early uh, because they're going to keep adding recommended maps. You didn't eat people. I don't know if you can eat people. I haven't seen anything to eat people. Throne maps for this and zombies are white walkers would be sweet. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't know. The only thing I could think of is like have all your people build out everything and then just go send your people out to get murked. And then, you know, keep one guy. But yeah, I'd recommend doing this one very early on within the game's life cycle because like I said they're going to be adding more and more recommended maps if you're trying to go for all the achievements Receiving. uh oh yeah he's up here oh here's these guys Clear. hmm now the question is, will one group of handgun guys be able to take on four raiders, one with being it with an AK? You know what? Let's test it. We're gonna test this theory. Let's go. Uh Okay, so that's bugged. Uh they're just like standing outside and they get shot from the inside of the building. Oh yeah, my man. <laughs> yeah, lurk. <laughs> layers and layers of walls, yeah. That's legit how uh, one of the achievements worked for Hoi 4. I think it was the Polish one. 
Uh, I think it's the third. Is it 30 days of hell? Uh, is the achievement or 30 minutes of hell? Uh, can I drop this on the ground? I don't think I can. Okay, I'll have to come back for that AK. Uh, where you have to like survive like 30 minutes and like merc a certain amount of Germans uh, within like a certain amount of time. Our very Facebook. <laughs> They've honestly been getting better. Um, they used to look a lot worse off, I would say. Uh, so they have been getting better with like HD textures and everything. So more than likely, they'll get a lot better. Like j just even base game, like they might update the graphics more. But yeah, do mod support for a game like this is gonna be nuts. Like the amount of stuff that they're gonna there's that more than likely gonna be modded in is gonna be wild. One of the main things I, I look forward to in any game is just mod. Like, just mod support. Like 9 operator. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with us. That's what you get for messing with us. The risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math? <laughs> I love how sarcastic he sounds about it. How many people are streaming Infection Free Zone right now? I didn't even think about that, like on Twitch, uh, or like even YouTube. Let's see. Because I feel like with the games released today, there would probably be a decent amount of people streaming Infection Free Zone, right? Yep. There's a decent amount. Oh yeah, you could definitely see like the... Uh, like how many different languages are here. Uh, in those. In the post-apocalypse. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I started recommending a lot more YouTubers playing it. Yeah. Like, I'm still, like, just surprised at how much YouTube's been, like, pushing my content. Oh, that's new. They've never said that before. Huh. Swarm is nearby. Man, the stations. As they're, like, coming into the map. Because the swarms will actually come in from these expedition areas. Yeah, it's still considered early access. Um, it's currently in the beta. Because I guess it moved in. Moved out from... Uh, Alpha to beta. But yeah, it's definitely still considered early access because there's still a lot of work that they're wanting to do. Uh, their roadmap, they actually just updated their roadmap, I think yesterday. And added a lot more to it. Let's see, where are these guys at? Where are these boys? Uh, yeah, we're going to swap these guys. Actually, wait, no, 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 don't swap these guys. I just thought about this. I got more AKs. Oh, nope, get back in there. We're, the We're going to do two AKs per group. At the moment, at least. There we go. There. Okay, where's the swarm at? Do I have enough to survive two days? I do not. One the prequel to this game, yeah. Oh, the daytime actually came out and <laughs> making him go inside. Oh, wait. No, we're actually going to get all three groups to go in there since there's two in that. Well, that was, uh, that was an easy swarm. You know, the daylight just came out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hears you. Uh, let's see. Is there any big, like, supermarket type areas? There's some over here. Let's do it. 
My people's hunger. We're on the move. No more to find. Infected incoming. Start winding down for some rest. Wait, for some rest? Bro, it's already nighttime? Jesus. Hi there, operator. How you doing? <laughs> I forgot about So this is the mission that you get, or that you have to do to save them, uh, to get the achievement. Yeah, this is the mission for this, uh, one right here, save the raiders. What's happening there? I'm not gonna help him this time. Just die. die. I want to see what happens. God fucking damn it! Figured you wouldn't help us. See if you wouldn't help. Because <laughs> I've always saved them for the people, but since I'm not playing this one long term, I'm just gonna let them die. I want to see what see what happens. Like, does uh, can I just go like collect their stuff afterwards? We shall see. I'll wait for these guys to finish searching this, and then I'll send the vehicle over there. Uh, let's make sure we try to survive these next, like, what, two days? Yeah. We're going to build, like, another metal tower over here. We're going to build one over here. Uh, you guys need to drop off this food. Oh, another game I've been looking forward to is, uh, God, Frostpunk 2. Is it Frostpunk? Yeah, it's Frostpunk. It's kind of like the same premise in the sense of, like, having, like, uh, people and then, like, laws. Because they're going to be adding laws to this game. Uh, to where you can, like, enact certain things. So, like, you know, more work hours. If it's, if it's along the same premise as Frostpunk, uh, it'll be, like, longer work hours for your people. Uh, like half rations to make them eat less, stuff like that. To squirrel with a gun. Huh, so I searched that, and nothing happened. Is that going to be broken now? Oh, there's an enemy group? Are these the raiders? Because these guys don't have... They have melee weapons, but they're considered enemies. Huh. Option says squads to auto explore the closest buildings on their own would be nice. Yeah, something like that would be pretty cool. I feel like you would lose a lot of people that way though. Cause I would get very complacent. Uh let's check out the squirrel with a gun thing. So Yeah, there it is. But remarkable creature thrives. I wanna see this. In the heart of our bustling neighborhood. A small but remarkable creature thrives. The common squirrel. With its agile movements and inquisitive nature, this ubiquitous rodent has made its home in the urban jungle. But you should always be cautious when interacting with squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> and in some cases, large The squirrel is known for its deadly aim and non-compliance on basic guns. <laughs> so it is advised to steer clear of an area with any reports of a squirrel with a gun. Selecting its weapons carefully, the squirrel adapts its strategy to the ever-changing environment. Dude, I love... 
Okay, that is that's great. That it reminds me of the squirrel from Ice Age. That that reminds me of the squirrel from Ice Age for sure. Oh my god. Ah, uh, uh, Z collapse. I is that that zombie game that's like a top down zombie game? Oh, no, this is something totally different than what I thought it was. Okay, so it's like a like a world map style thing. Okay, there's a game that's like Z something. That's like a top down zombie game. Okay. Uh, you have a place that's called Old Mystic Court. Oh, <laughs> also check out Last Man Sitting. See, last man sitting. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> the average American office. <laughs> the, the the average office in the United States. <laughs> that almost looked like Scrat. He loved fine cones. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> oh God. Office chair fighting. That's what my last job looked like. <laughs> That's what we did all day. <laughs> swarm is upon us. Take them down. Okay, where's this swarm at? Now, somebody brought up the recommended map for Italy, and I'm actually really looking forward to seeing that map now. Because uh, he that wasn't the only person I've heard bring up that map. As being like a really cool recommended map. Enjoy the little things, yep. Dude, I love games like that with just their, um, with their trailer being a video like that. They, it geeks me out so much. Well, oh, here comes the boys. Okay. <laughs> Dude, ARs make this so much easier, though. Like just, but it does burn through ammo. We got like 50 rounds of ammo, but we're almost done with this one. We're on what day 12 now. Now, does this show me my progress though? Is the only issue that I have with this. Because I'm gonna be afraid that if I like do 12 days on each of the recommended maps, that it's not actually going to uh, work. Kind of like the other one, like the farm one. Oh, no, we're about to move on to the next re recommended map, David. That's why I didn't build up as much anymore. Because I do want to check out all the recommended maps, but it also it does help with um, the achievement. We'll do whatever it takes to keep people here. I'm going to wait till day 13 before I move on to the next one, though, because I want to see... Or I want to make sure that it counts it as 12 days. Wrap it up, folks. Time to call it a day. I gotta take my hoodie off. I'm starting to like heat up a bit. Oh. There we go. Sitting here in a hoodie and it's like Getting hot. <laughs> Another one incoming. Italy and France play have the easiest. Uh, and they are very urban, so a ton of infected show up. Okay. <laughs> Just gun them down the street. Okay, so we're on day 13. 
So this map should, this should count. So we're going to go to one of the next ones now. So let's see, the next one is going to be Dijon, France. So, okay, there's only one Italy one, so that's right there. So basically avoid cities. Whoop, oh, wrong button, there we go. So we're gonna move on to the second one now, and it's gonna like auto choose our thing for us. I don't think it, for this quest or mission, I don't think this changes anything for the achievements. Huh. We'll do this. Yeah, I don't think that changed. I don't I don't think it does. So far I've gotten achievements still with uh having it up. I think the only thing that affects your achievements is if you enable the cheats in the um command console. Oh another thing, I love their art in this. Like this this loading screen is probably one of my more favorite like screens that they have. Oh, this is nice. That's AI art. That's a really good AI art, if that's the case. Yeah, most games, if you enable cheats, uh, yeah, achievements get disabled. Dude, this is a beautiful starting area. Like, we've got piles of bricks here. Like, this is such an easily defendable area, too, because the infected can't break down buildings, at least at the moment. And then, like, it has so much area to expand to and block. Oh, and then touched up by the devs, yeah. See, a lot of people have issue with AI-made stuff. And I don't, I don't know, being a tech guy myself, I don't really see any issues with it. Um, unless you try to make something that's, like, a total rip of an AI game. Like some of these mobile games that are coming out are like the game itself is made by AI and then every single piece of art is in there that's in it is made by AI. Um, so like something like that, I see as like not being good with AI. But if you like use something with AI and then touch it up or change it or just use it as like a footprint, I see no issues with that. Oh, so B actually just removes... Oh, that'll be really nice for some screenshots. I did not know that. Okay. When you accidentally, like, misclick and find something out. <laughs> Man, this is actually a really nice starting area. For, like, one of the recommended maps. They, they did pretty well on this one. Let's look at the overall map. Work it to its fullest. Watch micro mice racing. Dude, that just sounds... Jesus! God! <laughs> that is a massive mall! Yeah. Oh, where did you come from? Done. There we go. Bring that research back. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the Gonna get all this wood. We could store all the books there too. Let's build a research center and change it to the new HQ. There'd be like no way to defend that thing. But we will, I don't know, this is actually really, this is a nice spot for the HQ though. Cause I was going to change over to one of these buildings to have a bigger building as the HQ. Yeah, uh, so there's an achievement to survive 12 days on each of the recommended maps. Uh, so that's kind of like what I'm going for at the moment is uh, 12 days on each of the recommended maps. And it's... Uh, I also want to see all of the recommended maps because I've only seen like two of the recommended maps out of all of them that they've added. So I, I'd like to see what their idea of like a good recommended map is, which honestly, this one is really nice. I, I will say this one's a good recommended map. Because you have a good amount of trees, good amount of bricks, a good amount of metal, like a lot of metal. 
And it's like easily just defendable. Like this is actually a really nice uh, defendable map here. Can I collect up some of this resources? Crazy maze in seven seconds, yeah. Uh, we'll build this into a warehouse. Actually, no, this one's going to be more. We'll build that into a warehouse. Yeah, AI technology, though, has come a very long way. And it's like, it's just wild where it's at even now. But there, there's a lot of, um, a lot of stigma around AI, though. Micro mice. Oh, hello. Make sure it's disarmed and try to find out more about it. On my way. Another one incoming. Follow me. And you'll see a world of infinite imagination. Well, this lady might die in this one. Maybe not. We'll see. Nope, okay. She macheted him. <laughs> Turn into I robot without Will Smith. Oh god, no, we need Will Smith to save us. We're on the move. There are some infected around here. Everyone just crosses water in this, yeah. The Terminator I always think the Terminator could be possible. Like that's something I've always thought. That's like the Matrix. Like when I was younger and I first watched The Matrix, it was one of those things that's like, huh. This could tech this could be a thing in like a hundred years. Receiving. Oh. I don't like you guys. Can you like stay over there, please? Search done. We're on the move. Waiting orders. We're on the move. To choose one population? That would actually help a well, I don't know though, because I feel like you would you would have to have your starting people though to be able to like survive anything. Feels more difficult than halfway de de uh, dense urban areas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. Uh, I'm doing the achievement for 12 days in each of the recommended maps. Uh, and this will like let me see all of the recommended maps too, because I want uh, because I haven't take I haven't looked at any of I've only looked at like two of them, so technically this makes three because I had not played this one before. Ready for action. We're on clear. Ready for action. Going there. Operator, let's do it. But yeah, Crofton looked like wild, mostly because it just wasn't. It looked a lot harder to defend, and there wasn't, like, as much, uh, area. Oh, wait, it, you know what? It'd be helpful if I, uh, actually had people working on that. <laughs> Building clear. Yeah. Lots of infected, yeah. I have tried, uh, because before, some maps that were dense, you couldn't load. Like, Tokyo, you couldn't load in the past. Um... It would just be on an infinite loading screen when you try to, like, load Tokyo. Uh, they ended up fixing that issue, though, pretty quickly, actually. And, uh, but now y you can. But Tokyo is, like, a wild area to do. Japan, in general, is just, like, a wild area. Uh, mostly just because of, like, how much, uh, like, how urban it is. Like, the, like, all the buildings are, like, hugging. That's, like, New York. I, I enjoyed... And hated the my New York playthrough. Because it was just like everything was just so condensed in it. Like it made it easy to defend though, but when you had a horde, there was like nothing spread out. Like everything was like to the wire. Like you had like 30 of them boys on top of each other.
Hey gamer, welcome back. Yeah, and embrace the automobile. Yeah. <laughs> uh if you're so if you're wanting like a condensed area, I would recommend New York. I have I have played three playthroughs in New York, two of them actually being on YouTube. Um and just really fun. Uh, there's so much resources because everything is like so condensed. It's kind of easy to defend because you're at that point you're just defending streets. Uh, so it just becomes a tool. It just turns into like a tower defense game for the most part. Uh, but it is fun. Uh, I'm currently looking through the recommended maps because uh, I would I, I do want to make like a video explaining in the future like you know a decent place to start as a recommended map and. Uh, Honestly, the, the Dijon France is looking phenomenal right now. Only one sedan and one truck. Yeah, I wasn't seeing like any vehicles on Crofton. Like I was, I was barely seeing any vehicles anywhere. Actually, don't go search new buildings. Just go grab that four ammo. Okay, now come back. <laughs> that should be done by the next day. Uh, we're gonna build out like a metal tower. Put it kind of like right here, take aggro. Build this over here to take aggro. On Italy and Island to defend? Ooh. Yeah, the Italy one I'm really wanting to look, or I'm looking forward to trying. It's just it's so far down the list at the moment. Not important. <laughs> Just be like, it's not important. It's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Who cares about infected in the sewers? <laughs> the place is adapted. I have not actually hit this one over here. Uh, okay, nice. We got more of our warehouse built. There we go. Uh, we actually got a car up there. We're going to go grab that car. And we'll have him actually hit up all the weapon spots. Because we've hit one of the weapon spots already. Uh, I haven't seen any of the other ones, though, yet. Oh, I know there's one in that giant mall. I'm going to have to, like, leave a group in there for, like, a year to search that thing. Uh, I don't... No, I, don't, I wouldn't say there's an ending. Uh, I want to say there's going to be more than likely. Because on the... Uh, here, let me find it. I took a screenshot of it the other day. Uh, where are you at? Here it is. So this is the new roadmap. And so they're doing story chapters. So I feel like there would be an end to the story because there's also a no story mode. So I feel like with the no story mode, uh, you wouldn't come across the ending. But I feel like with additional story chap, like with them saying they're adding more story chapters, there will be an end with the story. But more than likely how most games do it, when it comes to having stories, you'll reach the end and then you can choose to continue on and keep playing. That's how I'm one that that's how I'm guessing they're going to do it. But like I said, that, that's just a guess. That is not the gospel. Let's do it. Reporting. Let's do it. We are out of resources. There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, oh, yeah, so they got the car. Uh, where are the other military? I know there's one in the big mall. That's gonna be the one I'm gonna hit last. Unless that's the only other one out here. Oh, nope, there's one down here. Okay. We're on the move. No more to find. See, I'm wondering if anyone has actually gotten all the achievements yet. It would be cool to be the first person to have every single achievement. Do like a 48 hour stream, just like getting all the achievements in one go, which I guess I couldn't do because I already have four of the, or some of the achievements from, you know, pre-release of the game. 
<clears throat> Be such a clickbaity title. I have all the achievements. <laughs> First person, all achievements. Levun in Belgium? Leuven? How do you say that? Is it Leuven? 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 Waiting orders. On my way. Uh, so yeah, the one that was in Russia, uh, it was on a previous version of the game. Uh, so I ended up just... Because there were still so many bugs and everything in that... Because like I said, it was a previous save of the game. I had to actually revert my game back to a previous version and do it like that. Uh, so I just ended up saying we just... Uh, I just did some of the achievements, messed around with some stuff, tested some stuff, and then we just kind of like threw that away to start on the newest version of the game. Because they... The new version of the game should be, uh, the save should be backwards compatible. Okay, you're big hurt now, my guy. Those guys, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna see. There we go. <laughs> Has its own pronunciation in Dutch. So I don't know how to explain, yeah. Game on insane mode. Ready for action. We're on the move. Chief, we found some medical supplies. They'll definitely come in handy. Now we'll be able to give first aid to the wounded. Yeah, I kind of feel the same when it comes to like because I I've tried to uh like have people out. But then, like, swarms will come in, and then, like, four swarms will hop into a building with one of my guys and just absolutely decimate them. So some nights, it's, it's, you're just pretty much at this point taking a risk having your people out. Yeah, that would that would be really cool. Clear. Uh, let's see. He's at what, 57%? Decent amount of stuff we're finding in this place. Yeah, well, see, the issue is, because sometimes they'll get attacked before, like, I can even see the horde go up to them. Clear. Left. Have I tried a desert? I actually have not tried a desert map before. We're going to look at a place after this. Um, we're not going to play it. We're just going to look at it and then return back to the recommended maps, because I actually want to see if there is desert terrain in this. I have not, yeah, I have not thought about that. Or if it's just all green all the time. Receiving. Yeah, I did not think about that. Let's do it. Waiting orders. Area scavenged. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know that because uh, I have come... So, looking in the Steam discussions, I have seen that... A lot of people who try to do that tend to die pretty quickly. Um, mostly because they don't have enough people to build up like their beginning towers and stuff. Because uh, I have been seeing that quite a bit. Uh, I know the devs have been like having to tweak some stuff because people are uh, like not happy about how much like the hordes will just tear them apart. Bad for food production, yeah. I love that sound so much. 
It always makes me laugh. Uh, since I got two towers right here, that one also has handguns. I'm gonna move them here. We got that little. Hey, 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 no, you stay here. Yeah, you guys are gonna stay there. Did we fill up the car? We did fill up the car. Uh, they have bows. So they can still shoot arrows. I mostly use them, though, to take aggro away from my normal buildings. Because you'll see right here, they'll take aggro from this. Oh. Researching to build the building, yeah. We're running out of Our building's under attack. See, they have a very early uh, swarm now. Because it used to be the first swarm you'd get hit by was on like day eight. Uh, but now, I guess it's from that event that you get uh, with seeing all of them. But like that one seems to be the first horde now. And it's like on day four, day five. It's a decently sized horde too, but they're not as OP as they used to be. Especially if you can get your hands on like an early rifle. There we go. I, uh, we're gonna hit up these little side buildings. Oh, there we go. Gotta re-click that now. Uh, yeah, we'll hit up these. You know, we're out of pistoles. Hey, Anter, how you doing? Uh, let's go back to the mall. As I accidentally, like, snapped the neck on my mic. I accidentally just slapped it. <laughs> I just like slapped the crap out of my boom mic and it just went way off to the side. I'm good. It's just, uh, you know, playing some of this. Like hordes have a learning flow with player progression, so the better you get, the harder the hordes are. I want to say they are doing something like a difficulty. Uh, this is Dijon, France. You know, it's uh, Dijon mustard. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's the it's the recom it's the second recommended map. Cause once we get to day twelve, we're gonna move on to the third one, and then we're gonna move on to the fourth one, the fifth one. We're gonna try to get all day twelve on all of them to get the achievement. And you know, just to give us like an idea of what these maps look like. Uh, we're gonna leave him here to defend while we go out and just get more food with the car. On my way. Horde, spotted. So I'm a fast on playing this. <laughs> Clear. Uh, so uh, what what country do you originate, my guy? Uh, let's see. So we have... How many days of food do we have? We have three days worth of food. Still way easier than the first recommended map of Crofton. I literally have no space for anything in the suburbia of the USA. Yeah. What a... Like, Crofton is like... I wouldn't even call that suburban, dude. That is worse than suburban. Algeria? Ah, okay. I see why you don't like France. <laughs> Oh, no, you're going to stay home. Yeah, you're going out. But now, uh, what games uh, are you guys, like, looking forward to? Because I've, cause I've noticed, like, talking with people, um, that, like, there's a lot of games that I just did not know that were coming out or, like, that are coming out. Uh, the one game that I keep putting people on, though, you're from Flanders, Belgium. Ah, I'd, I'd call that the boonies, dude. 
Like, I'd probably say where I live is, like, suburbia, because I live, like, outside of a giant city. Yeah, manor lords. <laughs> uh, because, like, you know, I live, like, in between two giant cities, and so I would say, you know, that's, like, suburban. Like, Crofton just looks like it's the middle of nowhere. That's out in the boonies. Oh, there's infected in the house. That's fine, they live. Gunbeat Hand, the Elden Ring DLC. See, my roommate loves, um, like, Elden Ring and stuff, and, uh... God, what are they called? Is it PromSoft Games? I can't remember the devs of that game now. My brain just not working. Uh... Oh, FromSoft, not PromSoft! <laughs> yeah, FromSoft. Some time ago. Let's see. What's Elysium? We'll take a look at that together. Because I don't think I've yet actually heard of that game. Is it this one? Like an average European town. Oh, you're welcome, my guy. Yeah. Okay. Kind of looks like your basic survival game. Oh, no, Disco. Oh, okay, okay, so wrong one, wrong one, let's see. Oh, this one, okay, yeah. It's like, what is, it's like, what is this? Is it like an RTS? Single player game, okay. Uh, You know, we'll, we'll watch the trailer together. Let's see. Wait, there's a movie of this? In the great city, at the end of the world, there's a dead body behind the hostile cafeteria. And a strike that's about to become a war. I love the voice. Precinct 57 sent their finest the movie is Elysium. You. Prove them wrong. A lot of political aspects. Lose your mind. Disco Elysium. The final cut. I love that man's voice. So it sounded like he was talking about like precincts and districts. Is it kind of like uh and like sending people? Is it like, uh, God, what's it called? The movies, uh, you know, like with like District 11 and stuff, uh, the Battle Royale crap. I can't remember what it's called now. I, I love the voice. Like that voice is like phenomenal. Like whoever got, they got to voice, uh, to voice that trailer, uh, they, they chose, like a real like they, they, that was a good choice you play a single detective who lost his memory ah okay and i'm guessing from the way it looks it's like top down well it's getting dark Voice is the president in Rick and Morty. <laughs> Dude, if it is, that would be hilarious. But I, I could see the similarity in the voice, though, for you to think that. I could definitely see the similarity in the voice. For his different personality parts? Oh, God. Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a swarm. Where are you boys coming in at? Oh, it's the main swarm. Ugh. No, I didn't. Let's see what it says. No, I didn't hear that. The infected. They're screaming all around us. I can't see them, but they must be nearby. Ah, that's nothing. Don't worry about that. Carry, Carry on. on with your duties. 
<laughs> is there a popular? I'm honest. I'm guessing there's not, because there is an achievement to gather 500 survivors at once. So, like having 500 survivors in your place. So I, I want to say that there's not a cap. Max builders, materials, and storage, but they have not moved a single log to the work site. Any tips? Uh, I guess uh, try like if the work site, like when you say work site, is if the building's not already built, uh, just get rid of the blueprint and then remake it. Like reuse it. See if that fixes you, or fixes it. 650 pop, but his game was really laggy. Yeah. So, uh, cause at one point I think I had like 300 or something like that. Um, they did do some optimizations with population before. I just don't know how well that actually worked out. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know like how well, uh, the optimizations they did worked out or not. Oh God. Okay, so I have not looked at my phone in a minute and I just have so many notifications. Uh, you play as a president of a fictional, fictional Spain, Turkey country in a fictional cold war. Spain, Turkey. Like, do you play as one or the other? Or is, are you saying, like, they're both kind of like this, like, kind of a combine of both countries? Because, uh, I would say that's a, those countries kind of far from each other. I guess they're down the water. Alright, uh... Okay, so here comes the here comes the swarm. If you have more pops, ah. So yeah, this is why I recommend having towers because you know it like it took off it like half the squad, uh, or half half of them kind of went for them there. Leave them alone. <laughs> Uh, I didn't, rem I don't remember what the next recommended map is. I kind of forgot already. I remember seeing it. Like I said, I just don't remember what it is, uh, that we're going to be doing another infected right there. We just got to survive the 12 days. They added horses. So you have transportation that doesn't use fuel, but the, they need grain instead. Both countries, like you have a... Region being in opposition to you. Ah. Oh, so the next one's Cambridge, UK. I want to say that's the other one that I that I looked at in the past. We'll get over this. We have to. We're all that's left of humanity. Yeah, I want to say that's the one that I've looked at in the past. I just can't remember. Oh, I like how that building looks kind of like a moon. Kind of looks like a crescent moon. Um, let's see. Where are we going? We'll go hit up these. Like the little buildings right there. We need more resources. Hit up these for some food. Sure. Suzerian, a mobile game? Is it a mobile game? I know some games are. I know. So I know newer mobile games. Uh, they've been making to where you can play them on computer also. Like there's a computer version of said game. Come on. You know you want to come within my ta come within range of my tower. It is a port of the PC game. Ah. On my way. Demon Spore in the building world are other recommendations. One is a top down shooter. Esk. Okay. Large actually is the map. Are you talking about this map? I uh, I don't know if they gave like a like square footage of like how big each uh 
like small square is or big square. But I would say it's decently sized. It's just for long ter like long term gameplay. Uh, depending on how many buildings are actually in the area, uh, you would definitely you definitely run out of things to loot over time. And then resources like wood, metal, bricks. Uh, there'd definitely be an end game. Like you would definitely reach a point where you couldn't do anything. Uh, especially because with the expeditions, once you get through a lot of the expeditions, I think it's like 2.5 by 2.5 kilometers. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I could see that being like 2.5 kilometers. Were we at a metal? Oh yeah, we are. Okay, uh, now we have some cars here. Uh, I think I've, I've already hit up all the gun stores. There, there were gun stores. Uh, one of them being this gigantic mall right here. This mall had uh, a gun store in it. It had like four different things that you can get from it, like four different categories. Essentially a village with a very, very little around it. It's kind of hilarious because of this. Oh, did you do the, um, cause I know they added the feature where whenever you start the game up, it'll ask you, uh, if you want the game to recommend you a location based on your area. Um, cause I've seen some people say like it gives them the most wild locations at times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard some people talk about that. Yeah. And like, yeah, some people getting recommended some like wild locations. I saw that they actually added that the other day and I was really surprised by it, but it was kind of like a nice surprise. I think it's like a cool feature. Oh, I actually missed a, I missed a gun location. Needs more events, yeah. They've added a decent amount uh, the other day with the big update. What do you mean by that? But yeah, definitely more events would be really nice. Branches sticking out of windows and roots breaking through, as if the forest itself has come to reclaim the land. And all these animals around downtown, it's their world now. And the infected. And the infected. We will reclaim. We will reclaim it. Uh, I only got ammo out of that. Big sad. On my way. Right, we have more than enough to make it to like day 12, except for food. Going there. Uh, let's see. Let's build another tower, like right here. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't run after that squad that was running back, to be honest. I was expecting them to beeline for that squad. <laughs> oh, here they come. I think Western Europe is the most balanced as it doesn't have a lot of very big buildings, so you actually got to adapt more buildings than usual. Yeah, for sure. Accidentally clicked the quest up there. We're going to sit on three speed. Hey, hey, leave that alone. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's repair this building now. Because it definitely needs repairs. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, elevated terrain is definitely going to be something they're going to be adding in. Um... And it's honestly something I can't wait for, too, because the elevated terrain is going to be wild. It's going to change up so much. Operator. 
Yeah, actually, I'm wondering because I did Paris uh, before it because I wanted to see if the Eiffel Tower was actually in, and it wasn't. It was like an actual big building. So I'm wondering, they used to be giant cubes. Yeah, yeah. The Eiffel Tower was just like a massive like uh, skyscraper. It looked like. I'll look at it after this, because I want to see if there is desert, like, as a location. So once we get to day 12 on here, we'll look at that, and then we'll go on to the next uh, recommended map. Because I do want to see what, uh, if there is desert terrain. <laughs> if it used to be giant cubes, that's hilarious. It was the Borg. The Borg came. To construct buildings and crop. Yeah. So, being able to build, like, separate buildings that, like, you know, aren't already procedurally generated, I feel like would be awesome. Like, even if it's, like, a, like, a drag feature, like, say you click it and it's, like, okay, I'll drag it here and then you can, like, choose the height. So, you could, like, scroll wheel up and, like, raise the height or something like that. And then, you know, just say it would cost you, like, more resources than adapting a building. I feel like that would be a really cool idea. Miles between each buildings, yeah. But I, the thing that I think that would be cool are the castles on hills and stuff, or like the castles on mountains. Like, let's say, like, the ca uh, the mountains in between um, India and China. Uh, I think it's the Alps, right? I want to say it's the Alps. Um, but, like, you know, being on those mountains and, like, building out a fortress on those mountains would be wild. Yeah, it, it is something that they have an idea that, that they want to do. Choose an oil rig? <laughs> Wait. Ah, see, it just it won't let you, though, because there's not enough stuff around it. But that would be cool. Because somebody did bring up um, uh, boats in the uh, Steam uh, discussions. And they said it's something that they would look at. It's just something right now that they're not worried about because there's other things that they're looking at doing. Hey! Leave that alone! Stop touching my buildings! Americans don't like it when you touch their buildings. <laughs> the Himalayas, that's what it is. Yeah, the Himalayas. Where I live, hills are non-existent. Yeah. Dude, I, I, uh, I, I live in the mountains in the United States. Is it allowed to play in the Forbidden City, China? Ooh, I don't know. We'll look at that too, actually. Um, well, okay. We're going to check out the pyramids and then we're going to check out that. Um, because I know certain places won't let you choose it. Like in the United States, uh, because somebody had posted this before, it actually will not let you choose the Pentagon. Oh, yeah, I live in the mountains. Uh, but it won't let you, like, live in the Pentagon. It'll let you live in the uh, base in the White House, but it won't let you do the Pentagon, sadly. I wonder if they changed it, though. We're going to wait till day 13 uh, so that we know we'll definitely be past day 12. Play in the Netherlands totally flat. Well, at the moment, everything is totally flat. Um, but once elevation gets added in, that's going to be wild. Because uh, let's see. I'm going to show that image again of their roadmap. Because, yeah, this is currently the roadmap that they have. We consider a 70-meter hill as a mountain here. Because, <laughs> yeah, uh, land elevation is one of the things they're looking to add. Explosives. So you don't see it now, but there was a, uh, a marker in the game for explosives. And it said for the explosives, you could use it to demo buildings. So bigger buildings, it looks like you'd be able to get rid of faster with explosives in the future. Um, stamina system, I'm guessing, is going to be for your squads. What about Vatican City? I, more than likely, you could do the Vatican. Uh, there's just certain locations that I'm wondering that won't let you do. Because like I said, it won't let you do the uh, the Pentagon. So I'm wondering if it will let you do the Forbidden City. Since it is like a heavily religious area. like Because China is very much like a lot more authoritarian with their stuff like that. Um, gear. So there's going to be like gear that you guys can wear. Like SWAT gear. Uh, soldier gear, I think it said. Now where am I? Oh, here I am.
Yeah. Yeah, squads work on a 24-hour shift system. North Korea? I I wonder about North Korea. Huh. It'd be hard to find food. <laughs> 70 is hardly speed bump for as we call it in Norway. Fart shumper? Fart shumper? Fart shumper? Okay, we're day 13. Let's go check out the other stuff. Uh, we're gonna save just in case. Okay, let's go check out some of these other uh, locations. Because I really want to see if there is desert terrain or not. Uh, and we'll check out the pyramids. Uh, images, or not images, maps. Look at the pyramids of Giza, because I feel like some of these uh, big places that are like like really well known um, would be like you know actually have something there. I don't know if I could actually use its name or not if it'll let me. But yep, it will. Okay, I should be this one, right? Yeah. Influenced by your urbanness, yeah. So let's take a look. Or Dubai. Uh, let's see. China's, cause we're gonna get this up already. So we'll do China's Forbidden City. I wonder if you just type in Forbidden City if it'll know what you're talking about. Oh, yep. The pyramids are here. So the terrain is... So they don't really have desert terrain at the moment from the looks of it. But yeah, the pyramids are actually here. Dude, that's wild. We might actually do like a series in this location or something. I don't know. I kind of dig like doing a screenshot as like my... Uh, like of the pyramids as a... Uh, what's what I'm looking for? As a thumbnail, what I think would be really nice looking. But yeah, so they actually do have the pyramids in. The lush delta region. Oh, is this like does does this area actually have grass or is it not considered a desert? Like, is this area actually considered a desert or not? What about the Great Wall? Oh, I do wonder. Uh, how far is the Great Wall from... Because we're going to look at the Forbidden City next. You need wood so much, so not having it would be game-breaking. Yeah. I mean, there's wood here, though. But I guess, you know, once they add in, like, actual deserts... I, I think it would just be, like, a... God, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It'd be, like, a higher difficulty... Be mummies that awaken with the plague. <laughs> it's accessible, but I'm not sure if you have to choose an area adjacent to it. Ah, uh, let's take a look. Uh, cause I'm wondering if I just search Forbidden City if it'll if it'll show it. Is there a, there's a forbidden city in Tennessee. That's funny. Oh, so yeah, you can choose like as a corner piece. Let's see. Populated, very high. This would be su such a cool area if there was like, uh, like if the infected couldn't swim. I feel like someone's definitely going to make a mod in the future, though, that's going to make make it to where the infected can't swim. 
I feel like that's definitely going to be a thing just so people can like take over islands and stuff because that would be phenomenal. That would be like one of the coolest things ever. I I'd love to be able to take over an island or like, you know, the, the Forbidden City over here. Because there's like a few small bridges that link, but then there's just the one massive. Shall not enter Tennessee, at least not intoxicated at Tennessee bourbon. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Okay. You know what? This might be our, we, we might do our next series in the Forbidden City. Oh, it has castle walls too. I, I kind of like this over the pyramids. This is just like a cool, yeah, it's just like a cool setup here. A base in like this little, uh, like in this smaller area. Cause you can see like some of these buildings are like more, wait, so this is a separate building from this. So now if I choose this, will, will the infected be, be even able to get to it? Because will this building just be blocking this? We'll have to try that here in a second. Uh, cause I want to see something. Cause this is kind of the same way, right? Oh, this is its own building right here, too. That's cool. I actually like how they separate these on there. Because some maps uh, with bigger buildings and stuff, they don't separate the buildings that well. Try Chernobyl. Because, yeah, like, like this, this is a single building right here. Like, on its own. So we're going to go with that. Let's see. Yeah, like, look at this. Can I even leave this? Can I go back inside? Oh, we can. Let's go then. Okay, we're gonna see if the infected can get us here. Cause like, look at this thing. Oh, I like how this big thing's a tool building. That's funny. That's what I'm wondering. Like, can they even hit it? Did we just enter God mode for our HQ? <laughs> so do people actually live in the Forbidden City or is it just like a giant tourist spot? Invincible HQ, yeah. Stop working. Start winding down for some rest. Cause I'm wondering if it's like uh like royalty in the UK. No, it is forbidden. <laughs> Because they're, they're still, like, at this point, just tourism. Okay. Because I know, like, there's... Because oh, I know that they're, like, in the UK and stuff, they have, like, you know, royalty, and then, like, some of the castles are considered tourism spots. But, like, the royal family could still go and, like, you know, like, stay there in, like, certain areas that tourists can't get to. So I was wondering if, like, the Forbidden City was that way. Do they even have royalty anymore, like, in China? Let's see. Let's see, does China still have a royal family? Oh, okay. So they used to. But, uh, the monarchs of China were non-hereditary, so it wasn't actually passed down. Yeah. Yeah, so it, uh, it was non-hereditary, so they didn't pass it down to their families. Huh. We'll be ready. The miniature warrior, yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, I have a mechanical keyboard. <laughs> Did it actually break through right there? Yeah. Usually the uh the Mike is good at not picking up the mechanical clicky clicks, clickety clackities. Let's see, can they actually get in here? Is the question. Oh, okay, so they can get through right there, so they can get up here. Let's see. Oh, so the entrance for me is on this side. So we can get around right there. Oh, see, so you only just heard it now. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think this is just like an invincible HQ spot. 
I don't think there's any way to lose the game right here. That's hilarious. Okay, let's go. We're going to check out somewhere else. Oh, wait. I'm going to see if I can pull him. Come here. Oh, he went inside. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think that's just like an invincible HQ spot. That is hilarious. Red switch on your keyboard. Structure underneath the current HQ is HQ. Would you get humongous coverage from the troops there? No. So, like, as you can see, like, they only have a certain amount of area that they can look at. Unless they changed it. Because uh, it was before. So, like, you could choose a big building, but you would still only get the basic range of the person there. You still starve to death? Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, the affected can't kill you. They could destroy all your buildings and everything, but, you know, they, they can't destroy your HQ. Because uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, can you play in, like, the space centers? <gasps> uh, probably... Uh, I don't know, because if there's not enough buildings around it, it might not let you choose it. Let's see if I just search space center, if it'll show me the one in Texas. Uh, yep, it does. Yep, space center Houston. Okay, yeah, there actually would be enough, at least right here. Uh, because that looks like, yeah, there would be enough there. Because it'll tell you if there's not. So, like, let's go to a very urban area. HQ inside of a launch site, yeah. So, like, let's say we'll choose, like, here in Africa. Actually, there's no buildings here. We need to go somewhere with at least a few buildings. Uh. Let's see. Zoom in here. Oh, there's actually a lot more built. So we'll say like over here. Yeah, see, there are too few, too few buildings here to play. Please select another area. And that's like one of the things that's uh that it'll like tell you until like more stuff gets added to it. So some places that are very, very urban, uh, there's not gonna be anything there. But they might make it to where, cause as you see with the map a uh, map editor, you might be able to do some stuff or make your own maps. Because that would be very cool, is making your own maps, uh, like, fully. Nook playable, since it's Greenland, and it's quite small. Layouts out of my chosen location, yeah. Uh, Nook in Greenland, let's see. Oop, I put Nuke. <laughs> yeah, Nook. Uh, da 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 I don't know if any of these are it, but I guess there's a lot of places with this. So we'll do this and then we'll put Greenland. So let's see if it, uh, you know, Greenland isn't very green. Uh, da, 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 da. like I was showing me all the places in uh, the United States. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, uh, it doesn't look that small to me. That looks like it'd be enough buildings. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely enough buildings. The old city to the east of the town. Okay, so it just looks like this area over here you wouldn't be able to do, but like, you know, this area, like the main area, it looks like you can do. Forty K pop is quite small, yeah. But as long as there's enough buildings, like you're you're good to go. Uh I'm guessing it's this place here, the mu municipality. Oh no, you're saying in Norway. Uh, that's Norway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. There's more than enough places here. Uh, or you almost want to take a look at it. Now, when you say like the old city, like what do you mean? Oh yeah, I forgot. We're gonna look at the Great Wall also. We will take a look at the Great Wall. Because I am wondering how the Great Wall would look. Like, if they have an actual model for it, or if it's just, like, buildings pieced together. See the star formation? Uh... Am I just blind? I don't, I don't see a star formation...
A bit to the right? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Right down where I'm at. We're talking about like down here. Let's see, nothing down there. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I do not see this star location that you're talking about or star formation. <laughs> uh, left channels of water around the old city. Uh, It's like half a star. Man, this ain't GTA. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at one of these other areas. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's look at the Great Wall real quick. Great Wall Supermarket. <laughs> That's in the United States. That's great. Great Wall, the Great Wall Super Buffet. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to be able to search just the Great Wall. Let's see if I can find on uh, Google Maps for an actual uh, location. <laughs> the Great Wall Buffet <laughs> in the United States. <laughs> Maybe if I would have done just like the Great Wall of China too, it would have probably worked better. Great Wall South. Oh, wait, what? Great Wall of China South. That's in the United States also. Why is there so many places in the United States called the Great Wall or the Great Wall of China? I am so confused. <laughs> okay, let's... uh. You know, we'll go to Beijing. We'll, we'll find it. Because it should be near Beijing, right? It should be like right above Beijing, correct? I can't remember. It's been a minute since I've looked at or did anything with the Great Wall, like IRL. Oh, crap. Oh, go back to Beijing, please. American plagiarism. Yes, the Great Wall of China, Alabama. Uh, let me find it on a map. Find it on Google Maps real quick. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Should be... I want to say somewhere around here, right? Or is it up higher a bit? Oh, no, there's that. Like, Okay, so it should be like right around here. Uh, Does it not show it on here? As like the Great Wall. I was expecting like a line or something like that that it would show. Or is it, is it this? Huh. That might be it right there. Now, I feel like that's too far away from that lake, though, for where the Great Wall is. Unless there's a large place that's near it. Oh, no, that looks like a, no, I think it's a train, uh, rails. Then I don't think we can actually choose where the Great Wall is unless there's, like, like I said, a, a town near it. God, even Google Maps doesn't really show it that well. Maybe if I do it in terrain view. What? I love how that says the Great Wall of China, but there's, there's no Great Wall there. I'm so confused. Uh, Google Maps. Like, what? Well, what are you on right now? We'll check out Jerusalem. I don't feel like sitting here trying to define that. 
for like ever. You know what? Here you can find it for real. For real. Because like I have it pulled up on Google Maps, but even when I zoom all the way into it, it doesn't actually show like an image of it. It's weird. Like I don't know if that's just like a tourist location. Uh, it's it's like so weird. It's like China like kept it off of Google Maps or something like that. I'd say it's about Jerusalem, right? I want to say that is. If it'll search, maybe it's not. Uh, so it isn't a sparsely inhabited area. Ah, uh, that is not how you spell Jerusalem. <laughs> I've never had to spell Jerusalem before. Okay. Oh yeah, my man. It's nice having you, uh, you know, hang out. I gotta sneeze here in a second. Oh my god. Okay, it went away. Oh. Alright, so there's Jerusalem. It might just be too big of an area. Like, to... Because isn't Jerusalem, like, surrounded by walls? Or is that a different, uh... Like walled city that's in the Middle East, like that. It looks like you're doing it all night. <laughs> yeah, it's actually 10 p.m. for me, because I started the stream. I think at seven. Oh no, I started at 6:30 because I started it early. Uh, because originally I was gonna start it at seven, but then I got back from the store, ate food, and I was like, "Yep, yeah, okay." I was like, "I'm I'm good to go. We, we're we're good to start this. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good." <laughs> Uh, let's see. These are all just images of Jerusalem. I'm wondering, let's actually, we're gonna take a look at it. Because I do want to see if they have the buildings. You're watching in bed. <laughs> Six hours still work. <laughs> well, you know, I do appreciate you guys, you know, hanging out with me. I really do. Ugh show how big some cities really are for real like uh doing like look at new york like if you do have this game look at new york we'll actually take a look at new york here in a second like it is crazy because i don't think i ever showed like the actual above like a main map of new york uh, i've only ever done like where you know like i started the playthrough at oh nope stop game uh mostly just buildings in this area I was wondering if they had, like, the, uh... Jerusalem, their, their religious buildings are called mosques, too, right? Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to think, you know. All of the, like, Middle East and, uh... The desert countries. So I was trying to see if they have, like, any of their buildings look different. Because if you go to Russia, you could see, like... Like, the Kremlin has, like, the actual... Like, you know, Russian-looking buildings. Like, style buildings. So I decided to sleep, yeah. Uh, but I'm not really seeing that for them. Oh, they actually have a skyscraper right here, though. Big boy building. Uh, yeah, it looks like just like a lot of uh buildings. Are you <laughs> looks apocalyptic? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Then 1400, there were the same amount of people on the planet than there are in the USA right now. Dude, oh my god. I never thought about it that way. That's, yeah, that's crazy. And the funny thing is, we have, like, in the United States, there's swaths of land with, like, nobody on them. It's, like, all farmland. Lose their mind if they saw New York City. Yeah, let's take a look at New York. Uh, if I just do NYC, will it actually just show New York City? 
Yeah, it looks like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Brooklyn Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Yeah, so this is New York. So this is, this is Manhattan Island, right? Yeah, yeah, this is Manhattan. It is, right? I can't remember now. Dude, my brain is like fried. <laughs> to a modern high school. But yeah, it's like very contested. So like this is like you can see because this is uh, New Jersey right here. Yeah, because this is Jersey City. This is actually where my dad was born. My dad was uh, is from Jersey City. Yeah, so I uh, I did my very first video I uploaded was a three hour long video of me playing in Manhattan. And then one of the series that I did was actually in Manhattan. Uh, I just wanted to show off like how like congested it is, but you can see how we set up our city that it's like very much like just blocks. Everything is just like rectangles everywhere. Some sort of residential or industrial building. Cause yeah, here's Central Park. But yeah, this is like uh that's New York. Let's see. Where is I gotta zoom out. There we go. I live did I accidentally choose where I lived correctly? Let's see. I'm not seeing anything. I think I accidentally clicked the water. Uh, I live in about right here, I'd say, right? Uh oh, I got in the right state, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, because there's Wilmington. Yep. Because uh, that's Wilmington Beach. I live in words. Where am I? That's Columbia. Athens. There's Atlanta. It's okay. I got to go back out. So, so little dots in Canada rip us. Yeah. <laughs> so many small dots. Well, most of Canada's population is only like in this area, right? Like most of this is uninhabited. Uh, let's see, we'll go, let me look up Charlotte, because I live near Charlotte. Yeah, so this is the city that I live outside of. So this is uh, Charlotte in North Carolina. As you can see, it's like a really big city. This is mostly like all just uh, residential areas around it. But yeah, this is this is the city that I live near. There's Charlotte Airport. It's a massive airport. Hey gamer, welcome back. But yeah, so this is the city that I live near. I live off to the left over here. Uh yeah, I live here. I live in Shelby. I used to live in Asheville, which is here. This is another big city. This one's actually like kind of in the mountains, actually. So yeah, this is Asheville. I live in between two big cities in North Carolina, at least. But yeah, this is like all mountains here in Asheville. <laughs> hey, I, I just told you, I didn't tell you exactly where I live. I just gave you the area. Yeah, because this is where I live. I gave you the area of where I live. <laughs> but as you can see, like we have like a lot of areas that are like within each other, close to each other. It's so weird seeing my like where I live in a game though. And like my area in a game. Well, no, because this is definitely like this is considered uh like I wouldn't say rural, but like, uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 
Jesus. I can't think of the word now that you said earlier. Like anybody's going to dox you, yeah. Because most of this is just all houses. Uh, we have Uptown right here. Uh, Uptown, there's like some restaurants and stuff. Uh, this is Main 74. This is one of our like main highways that leads like through and like leads to Charlotte. Uh, but like, yeah, a lot of it's just like living areas. Because I know a lot of people that live like in Shelby and or around Shelby that drive 45 minutes to an hour to go to work in Charlotte or they live here and they actually drive like an hour and 10 minutes to get to Asheville for work. It's social security number. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll show you where I used to live though in Asheville. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's Greenville. It's funny because I used to work uh, in Gaffney. Because I used to drive from Shelby to Gaffney. It's like 20, 30 minute drive. Uh, I've worked in Kings Mountain. Uh, I've actually done work in Charlotte. And it is... Uh, I've worked in the giant Hearst building. I, I worked kind of in a skyscraper. Uh, I did IT work there. Art needed when you can literally build anywhere, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Uh, Cause like I've spoken to people and they're like, I could never drive, you know, 40 minutes somewhere. Man, I will legit, like from where I live, just to Gastonia, like on a main highway is a 30 minute drive, a 30 to 40 minute drive, depending on traffic. And I'll go there just to go to Best Buy. It's too far. <laughs> uh, my best friend that I've known since middle school actually still lives in Asheville. And I'll drive like an hour and a half to go see him. Or like to go see some of my other friends that live in Asheville. Um, I drove from... I drove 14, 14 and a half hours from where I live to uh, Missouri uh, to go see my half-sister like every year. Oh no, yeah. My uh my buddy that lives with me, uh he he did drive, I think it was like a little over an hour to get to work and back from work. Uh he got a new job here recently where I think it's like 50 minutes drive to work. Now I want to say drive more than 2 days. Oh my god. Yeah, one of the Australian dudes that I talked to uh like, he was saying that, like, some jobs, like, they would fly back and forth. And I'm like, dude, that's crazy. Like, that is nuts to fly back and forth. But people actually do it, though, here. Um, uh, there was a big thing where somebody was going to school. Yeah, I'll show San Diego. Uh, I'm going to dox myself again, but I was actually born in San Diego. I was born in California. Ever drove was the bus to Austria was 12 hours. Average American commute. For real though, like honestly, like a uh, hour, two hours one way is is pretty much average for somebody in the United States. Um, I was looking to see how long it would take to get from like London to France or like London to Belgium. And it's like that that's like two to three hours. I was like, that's, that's nuts. Like, I, I'd love to be able to drive an hour and get, like, end up in another country. That, that, that would just be, it's so wild. Cross Canada drive it was cool, but definitely yeah. a one time thing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is San Diego, California right here. As you can see, it is very, very much populated. <laughs> California in general is just, there's a lot of people in California. I did uh, one of my series. I was in Beverly Hills, California. Uh, but I ended up renaming it to LA uh, in the title, at least, because not a lot of people know about Beverly Hills internationally, but they know about LA, at least. You know, Los Angeles. Can't even imagine casually driving two hours. Yep. In all the county. 
Wait, is there really 4.6 million? Jesus. If I drive two hours, I would be in Germany or in the Netherlands. Dude, that's that's so wild to think about. I would... Oh. I could drive for days and never leave the country. Yeah. I think Australia is what? Like the size of... Uh, I think Australia is the size of Texas, right? No, it's bigger than Texas. Okay, yeah. So yeah, Australia is actually bigger than Texas. St. Louis, Missouri. Is that where you're from? I actually, uh, I have family that live in St. Louis. My half-sister lives there. So I've actually driven to St. Louis a lot. That's where I take my, uh, you know, like 14 and a half hour drive to get to. I'll drive it all at once. <laughs> but here's St. Louis. That takes so long to commute. Yeah. Yeah. One of the Australian dudes that I was talking about, he lives in Perth. Um, he was the one that recommended my uh, Perth uh, series location. And uh, he was telling me about the highway that goes like all the way around. A contiguous U.S. Oh, you're about a half an hour from here? Ah. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I have family that lives in Imperial. Uh, St. Louis. Or, yes, Imperial, Missouri. They live there. But we, uh... We actually went into St. Louis a lot to go see the Arch and stuff like that. As that went down in the middle of Australia. But that's really cool just to like look around uh, the maps and stuff and see everything. Uh, let's see. I actually want to see India real quick. I want to see what India looks like. Uh, where's one of their like most populated areas? Because India and China are like the most, had the most people like square, like, like in the most areas, right? Waiting for all the buildings to load. Oh, this isn't as big as I thought it would be. Did I choose the wrong place? Ah. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I want to show you. Uh, Let's go look at uh, Tokyo. Because I don't know if you guys have seen Tokyo, but it is nuts. It used to, uh, Tokyo used to not load for 1.4 billion people go for new delhi uh oh i didn't think about new delhi yeah so this is uh tokyo here and you'll see when i zoom in here yeah look at this like this map used to not load like if you try to load anywhere in here it would just be an infinite loading screen yeah dude, like look at this like it's just it's so like just so congested I, I could see it, like, I, I could see that being true, like, the largest city on the planet, like, where it's, like, ever stretching, like, it never ends, because it's just, like, eh, it just keeps going. Only fits three people, but it's a store, yeah. But it's just wild, like, just, just how congested everything is there. Uh, let's check out New Delhi. Love how we're just like looking at like the geography of the world and everything. Yeah. Let's zoom out. Let's see what this looks like. Trying to get close enough where it'll load buildings. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's also like they have some like swaths of land in between, though. So it's not like as like Tokyo, but you could see it's it is really congested also. A lot this this must be like all residential areas in some of these. A colony in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Place it like Google Earth for real. 
<laughs> I feel like there has to be mul like a lot of people that do this. That have done this though. That have just looked around everywhere. Is there for a reason? <laughs> like God, though. Yeah, this actually stretches for a while too. Of just being like a populated areas. I kind of like the way this looks. This actually looks cool. Like how these roads connect. Because these are like main highways. Paid version of Google Earth. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, let's look at the Pentagon. Uh, I think that's how you spell Pentagon. Yeah. Because I want to see if you could still not choose the Pentagon as an HQ. Because you used to not be able to. I want to see if that's still a thing. At least 100 buildings on Central Tile are required for smooth gameplay experience. Oh. Uh, okay, so to let me click here. Try Point Roberts. It's the only disconnected U.S. land surrounded by Canada. Uh, is that the one that's above Chicago? Is, is that where that is? Because I know there's some land above Chicago. Let's see, is this going to work? Where's the Pentagon? There it is. Oh, so now it'll actually let you choose it now, but it's all considered one building, but it says it's too close to the edge of the map. So more than likely, I think I'd have to like choose a place and then move my headquarters here. Uh, Wait, the Pentagon has a metro station? Wait, what? I've never heard of the Pentagon having a metro station. Apparently it does. Okay. Is it only usable like by them? Huh. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, uh, I'm going to check. I want to see if they change anything to the White House, and then I'll take a look at some of these other places that you guys are recommending. Because uh, I've tried the White House before, and they had a model for it, but I'm wondering if they changed it at all. White House, Tennessee. Nope, yep. So we'll we'll see. Get that late night hunger. Dude, I got I, I went and got Taco Bell yesterday, and then I got up earlier and I have leftover Taco Bell. But then my roommate was like, "Oh hey, I made hot dogs." I was like, "Oh yeah, hot dogs and chili." I slammed me some hot dogs. And I was like, "We'll start streaming." Okay. So okay, so that building still tore down for bricks. And let's see, okay, so these are still separated. So that's the White House. Taco Bell has the Doritos taco shell. It has no right to be that good. Uh, I tried their new, like, oh, what is it? It's like the cantina thing or whatever. Uh, I ended up getting it because I got, like, the burrito. I got the meal. Uh, so I was, like, trying that out. It's pretty good. Another car in Crofton. Yeah, Point Roberts. That's what that was the one I was gonna check because that was the first one. That's in Washington, right? Yeah, at Washington State. Okay, so we can't choose it there. We might be able to choose it here. Yeah, okay, so we can choose it here. Oh, I just popped my neck. That actually felt really good.
the world as we know it. Okay, so let's go back down. Uh What was your at point, Roberts, that we were looking for? Underground mall. Uh, there'd probably be a building there, but it probably wouldn't have anything underground. Yeah. Or did I just go and choose the wrong location? And then just nothing for multiple kilometers, yeah. That's just how some of these areas are in the United States. What I find weird or like wild was uh, I live in the mountains. So like I look out and I just see, you know, hills and mountains everywhere. Um, when I went to Missouri for the first time, dude, like the flatlands in Missouri, like I could see the horizon. Like it looked like I could walk and like fall off the edge. It was honestly wild to like see. Uh, was that the Point Roberts that you were talking about? Because there are multiple Point Roberts. Because it looks like the a lot of them is in Washington State. Driving to Germany because it looks so similar, yeah. Oh, were you wanting to see this? There's like nothing on that. Cool little islands, though. So Canberra, Canberra. Yeah, we'll check that. Uh, all right, let's go look at that next. I wonder if they have the model for the Eiffel Tower in too. I'll have to check that too, because I want to see if there is. If they have like a custom model for it or not. Oh, so that's the Australian capital, yeah. Oh, what is this? It's capital circle. So I'm guessing that's your capital building, like your state building. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Is it like a tower or something? Cause it looks like it has a, like a weird shape. Like half the map. Yeah. Some of the areas sadden me though, because it's like this. So like it kind of cuts it off. Uh, I want to see what that building looks like. I'm going to look it up on Google maps real quick. Oh, so it's your parliament house and stuff, yeah. Oh, no, okay, that's just what the build... Okay, so this is what it looks like, at least from the top, like with the actual building. That's pretty much like, yeah, what it looks like. Uh... I actually thoroughly like how symmetrical these buildings are. I actually, I love that so much. I just realized that. Another state through Canada for school, which takes two hours. Like that is, that's wild. Ah, the only thing that's not, ah, they have like a little glass thing over here, but they don't have it over here. Ah, so the outside isn't as symmetrical, but I do like, like how symmetrical that looks. Shadow Empire, it's a 4X game. Ooh, I have to look at that. Uh, let's see. Diest in Belgium? Come on, let me sc scroll out. There we go. Infection Free Zone, the Google Maps game. <laughs> I would say check Brussels, but to be honest, Brussels is awful to live in. I think it would be a nicer place after the apocalypse. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, what is that building? That looks like Pac-Man. Like Pac-Man inside of Pac-Man. No one tell him Google Maps is free. <laughs> Google Maps, the paid edition. I want to see what that building is. I'm looking it up real quick. Uh, this location. Trying to figure out where I'm looking at now. Uh, oh, is that a fort? Oh, yeah, it's Fort Leopold. Okay. He has premium Google Earth. <laughs> See, that's, uh, that's Fort Leopold. That's a tiny fort. Like, if I was to attack this place back in the day, man, I'd just, like, I'd just walk around that thing. Got, like, all of eight cannons on that fort. Like, that's, that's such a small fort. Like, look at this little thing. Like, because you could see where the ramparts were. Uh, so on the elevated position here, there'd be like cannons and stuff up here. And then more than likely, there'd be like a smaller dugout around here. Unless maybe this depixelated area. Oh, so there's actually a military base here. Ah, yeah, because you can see where they uh, depixelated the military area. It has a good personality. <laughs> so yeah, this is the military area right here. So it's actually, you can't even see it on, on this map. <laughs> Starve the fort out in four days and four business days. Gaza and Egypt, the pyramids are something. I think that's what I did, right? Was it Gaza or was it, uh, uh what was the pyramids I did earlier? No, I did, I did the pyramids of Giza. That's what I did. So yeah, we do Gaza and Egypt. That's a really small air base too. That yeah, that is an air base. Yeah, I, I think I'm just too used to like the United States' base and stuff. Like it looks like there's like all of. Like, a few hangers, and that's, like, it. A few buildings. Oh, for the para-commandos. Oh, I looked at the wrong fort? That's the only fort that I see right here, though. Is there another one in this area? That's, like, bigger? Because I'm looking at it, and I'm not seeing any other forts in this area. Oh, is it the Citadel? Oh, no, that just looks like a normal building. It looks like I built afterwards. Because I see there's uh, the Dace Citadel here. Oh, no, yeah, never mind. That is a... Oh, crap, okay. So, okay, so that looks like a... Uh... Yes, yeah, so they had, like, a bigger fort here that's a Citadel. Okay. So it was just like a fort that was like off, like, uh, off to the side, I guess. Like, kind of like kept a boundary. Huh. Big old solar farm right there. Uh. Yeah, I didn't even see that at first. Brawling German police is too damn high. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're not wrong. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we're going to look at the Gaza. That's right. Gaza and Egypt. Oh, crap. Wanted to see if it'll actually show it as like one of the first ones. We got Gaza Korean Grill here in uh, Indiana, West Lafayette, Indiana. We got Gaza Korean Grill. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. So Gaza, Egypt. 
Or is it Giza? No, it's Gaza, right? Or is it might be Giza? I don't know. <laughs> the Korean... Yeah, I've been to Gaza. The Korean grill in America. Gaza City. Oh, that's in, uh, that's in Japan. Oh, Zaza. They got the Zaza. City Donuts. Okay, I gotta check this city out. It's the City of Donuts. <laughs> oh, it's in Texas. Of course a city in Texas would be called Donuts. That's great. Hamburger store across the street. <laughs> uh, Floyd Dada. Floyd Dada. We got, we got a shallow water up here. We got level land. Sounds like some video game stuff. Littlefield. The city of... Wait, there's actually a city called Batman in Turkey. Wait, there's Batman, Batman. Is that is that what's in Turkey right here? Batman, Batman? The city of Batman? Who <laughs> would be hell? I mean, you know, we got all the rednecks. You got firearms. That's different from what you got? Name your faction, <laughs> the dough holes. There's a town called Dildo in Canada. Oh my god, that's <laughs> what? So Batman's not pronounced Batman. I guess it wouldn't be, you know, different language. But I would so go there and be, and just call it, still call it Batman. I'd be about that. <laughs> I mean, even if I was living there and, you know, I watched movies like they, they they have to have, you know, American movies like Batman has to be a thing there. I would so just call it Batman if I lived there. Luckily, Batman isn't like Gotham City. Yeah. Uh, dude, Australia is like hurting for some places too over here. Look at all them little, little green, little green dots. Uh, let's see. What's the largest fort in the world? I want to see what this is. Uh, largest fort in the world. So it's Ranicott Fort. Let's see. I want to see what this looks like. New Zealand have as much as Canada. <laughs> oh, I bet you there's so... Yeah, yeah, there is. I've seen the video. They actually renamed that town. The town actually went and renamed itself because there was a popular video that went around um, that talked about that. It's not in Washington. No, where is that at? That's in Pakistan, yeah. I guess there's other places. Okay, we'll do... And then, uh, I probably won't be able to find it based off that name. Though I probably have to do this, copy that, like in their native language. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, apparently it didn't like me copying and pasting their language, <laughs> like their native language. Yeah, square town. Oh, yeah, because it did show me a place that was apparently named that. Uh, da, 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 da. is known as the Great Wall of Sindhi. It's the world's largest fort. Uh, that is Pakistan, right? Yeah, that is Pakistan.
Why does it look like that? Bro, what? Uh... Okay, <laughs> it just like went into each other. Hot. So good. Let's into Pakistan. We'll try to find it because I want to see what this place looks like, like on here. There's the Air Force Museum. We'll go with this, and then let's see if I can find it. Let's go to maps. Why did it bring me to... Wait, what? I clicked maps, and it brought me to Fort Sumter. What? That's that's not where I'm trying to go at Google Maps. Why are you showing me Fort Sumter? There we go. How is that? Wait, what? How is this the largest fort in the world? I am so confused. That doesn't look that big. What? Now, somebody's lying. Somebody lied on their resume. Let's see. I'm going to search it by this, see if that comes up. Somebody lied on their resume. <laughs> hey, John. To a job. That's not what I'm trying to find, though. Here, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. I think I can, I think I can find it. Wait a minute. In their known world, yeah. Cause somebody, somebody lying. Too few, too few buildings to play. Now I wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. Because, yeah, this, this is what it looks like. This is the fort. That's all I was like. So somebody lied on their resume. I was expecting something massive. Like, even the name. The Great Wall. Like, somebody lied. Somebody lied to me. <laughs> Google, you lied. That's not the largest fort. Okay, let's see what's the second largest fort in the world. Let's see what Google thinks about that. The AI are taking over is what ha what's happening. They hyped it up too much, yeah. It looks like an American prison. Oh, okay, this place looks like it would be phenomenal when they add in, like, height maps and stuff. Like, when they actually add in elevations. Uh, it's in India. I just see, there's, like, a video of it, and I see, like, the image of it from the outside. No! No! No, there's no buildings around here for me to be able to see this in game. No, let me, let me choose this. I want to see it. No. No. This is what it looks, let me, let me find this. I want to, I want to show you guys this fort. If they add in like a height map, like when they add in elevation in the future, dude, this place is going to be wild. Like, yeah, these, these are the images of this place. Like, look at this fort. Like, when they add an elevation, man, this, this, this place would be wild. Like, look at that. I'm going to copy that place. Was that Burj Khalifa? 
Out here talking about a certain Mia. Oh, whoops, I did not copy it like I had hoped. Uh, I'll just type it out then. Let's be camping in Nepal. Uh, would it be this one? Oh, what is this? Are these like man-made islands? Oh, I know. Okay, I know where this is. Bro, I gotta look at this. Warning, selected areas of small island. This will prevent many in-game events from happening. It will significantly limit your gameplay experience. I did not know that events also depend on where you're at. White Run and Skyrim copied their homework. I want to see what this place looks like. I totally forgot about this place. I remember seeing images all the time of it. Is this what you wanted me to look at? Or was there a different place here? Because I assumed it's this place. Because, you know, this, this place is like very unique in the world. The world is unique. Oh, so it's a there's a building. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about uh, this island that's here, like this uh, this place, because I know this place is like a massive tourist spot. I'll I'll, I'll have to go look at that after this. There, there, that's a big. Oh, it must be a skate shop. It's probably a mall. Is it this place you're talking? No, right? Is it this place? UAE. Oh yeah, have a, have a have a nice rest, my guy. Yeah, I must say it's coming up on four hours for the stream. Yeah, they spent like half of it so far just checking out locations that you could choose in game. I mean, it's honestly cool though, like that you could do stuff like this. Uh. Let's see. I'm going to look up that place because I wonder if they're... Because I don't know if that is... Let's see what this tower is. Massive skyscrapers. Uh, let's see. There it is. Uh, Burj. Khalifa. I'm going to look it up on Google. Oh, it's that building. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find it on Google Maps to get a definite... Uh... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. Uh, we'll have to find it, I think, because I know it's one of the big buildings. Oh, it's this building right here. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful building, though. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know what building it is, this is the building. This is the building that, that we're looking at right now in-game to see what it looks like. It's, like, massive, like, just tall boy. Oh, my game crashed. <laughs> Did the building crash it? Okay, we'll, we'll, try to we'll try to go do it again. See, yeah, there we go. Come on. Steam's just over here like synchronizing like crazy. There we go. Uh Yeah, too tall to load, yeah, for real. It's like instantly just crashed my game. Populate the whole tower with Zeds. Yeah, for real. Okay, uh, let's go try to load that back up.
Oh, I chose the wrong one. Uh, where was it at? I know it has like a unique looking spot on the map. You know, we're just gonna retype it out. Raider event in that tower. Okay, oh, we don't have to retype it out. Cool. It was this one. Yeah, it's just this building right here. Okay, it's not crashing this time, so maybe my game just got tired of me loading in and out of uh, maps. <laughs> oh, nope. It crashed me. So uh, it looks like you cannot load that building. The game is just like, nope. Yeah, so uh, that building is unloadable, apparently. So we found a crash site. Let me go put this on the Steam discussions real quick. It's been a minute since I've found or I've seen a place that will actually crash you. Cannot comprehend. Yeah, we'll do the Vatican City next. Uh, let me just go here to make this. Uh... Crashes game. I'm just putting in a little thingy. Now just for it to get lost in uh, the thing though, because there's like, it looks like people have been making posts like every minute in here now. Jesus. There wasn't that many posts originally, but I guess since the game released. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So we're going to do Vatican City. I wonder if I can just search Vatican City if it'll show it. Because I know some of the places you don't actually have to have the exact location. It'll kind of like find it for you. Yeah, so we have the railway station here in the Vatican City. Let's, we'll go to that. Uh, oh yeah, we're, this should be the Vatican right there. This is a densely populated area. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, yeah, so we're going to take a look at it in game. See what it looks like. Yeah, the giveaway is over. I ended up uh, choosing a winner earlier today, which reminds me I need to check my email to see if they responded to me. They still have not responded. Uh, if they do not respond within like the next 24 hours, I'll choose a new uh, winner. Uh, if they don't respond, I'm going to choose a new winner. Yeah. Somebody's receiving this copy of the game. <laughs> the world is okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the ancient or the medieval walls here. So these medieval walls, the infected will destroy. I think they only have like a thousand HP. Uh, so they're not that strong. Uh, you can't repair them either, but you can just get rid of them because they will actually stay there. Oh. That is actually cool. Okay, so they actually have, like, statues out here and everything. Thank you, my guy. Honestly, you just being here helps me, homie. Like, you, you just being here and interacting and, like, just, you know, watching my videos really helps because, you know, the algorithm... The, it, ah, I'm getting tongue twisted over here. Where do I enter for premium Google Earth? <laughs> yeah, but it it it's cool that it has some kind of like uh like model. All these statues. Like you know, it's more unique than like other maps. Wait, do they make it to where there's not a cap when you choose your headquarters now? Because there, there used to be a hard cap. Because, yeah, like this... Yeah, see the... Huh. Yeah, so like the cap before was like 309.
Yeah, they massacred my Pope. <laughs> oh no, because some of these buildings I feel like would have. Yeah, because see, I think it's certain buildings that won't give you the cap. Because like this building here would definitely give you more than like this building or like one of these smaller buildings. But it looks like the Vatican is like, oh, hey, we don't have to so see yeah, The building is extremely large and be very hard to defend in the first days. We recommend choosing smaller buildings. Are you sure you want to choose it as your HQ? Yeah. Yeah, like this this is the range of their fire the guns that they shoot. Okay. Find something to eat as fast as See, I always recommended or what I feel like should happen with this is that the uh like big buildings, your squads should be able to move to certain sides of the buildings to defend it. Like instead of just being centered like this, like they should be able to like safe infected are coming over here, they they'll move to this side of the building to defend that side of the building. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my guy. Yeah, I had even on like all of my normal videos. I always try to like uh, reply to every comment that I have as much as I can. The Autominium, Autominium, uh, a cool place, uh, Charzen, that like if you want a cool location to do at a uh, place that we found earlier when we were looking around the map is the Forbidden City in China. The Forbidden City in China looks so cool. Um, I, I would recommend there if you want like a cool place to start at and play in. It it looks phenomenal. Because I'm probably going to do like my next series in the Forbidden City because it just it looks so cool. Uh, let's see. So we're going to do let's check out. Aut I don't even know how to say that. Automium in Brussels. Oh, it's the capital. Okay. Uh, when you say Washington, are you talking about like Washington, D.C., like the United States? Because I, I did that earlier, but if you want to see it again, I can show you. Uh, let's see what this looks like in the map. One easy. Uh, depend like where, like where are you like starting your location at? For your starting area. Oh, I see where you sent that message now. Uh, I'd always recommend building like a metal tower next to your HQ, like straight away, because the metal tower will actually pull aggro. Bro, what is this? They're, they look like giant bullets. They look like giant bullets where the tips were like pushed in too much. But yeah, I would recommend putting like a tower there to like pull aggro or like anything like that. So that's usually what I do to like try to uh, try to help with that game forgot to game. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Let's see. Uh, where where are we at right now? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at it on Google Maps. Tonium Brussels. Is that this? Is that this? Here, wait. Let me show it. Like, yeah, is that this? <laughs> it looks so weird. Truly an engineering marvel. Like, is that what this is supposed to be? Oh, okay. It's a one-to-one. -one. Perfect. <laughs> uh...
Oh my god, do you like what? The, the game makes it look like floating bullets. Uh, we looked at the pyramids earlier. They actually do have the um, the models for the pyramids in. They're not giant cubes anymore. They, they actually do have models in the game now. Palace of Just uh, Palace of Justice in Brussels is also very large. Ooh, I like the name Palace of Justice. We're gonna have to look at that. The name intrigues me. It got a patch to modern art. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I gotta sneeze. Oh, it went away again. Dude, like, they... The pollen right now is crazy. What do war zones look like? Do they look like war zones? I don't know, man. It's post-apocalyptic world. I guess that's what this is supposed to be. Let's see what this looks like. Did it crash? No. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I thought it crashed too. It really is, dude. Like, this is probably the longest I've actually sat in a loading screen in a minute. The world as we know. Ha. Huh. Hmm. There's something off about this building. Ha. Huh. <laughs> There's, there's something erect about this building. Uh, let's see. Where is the Palace of Justice? Is that where it's supposed to be? Because that's where it's supposed to be. That's a... Uh, uh -huh. It looks legit to me. In the middle of justice, for real. They really, uh, you know, erected that building. <laughs> Is that is that is that what that's supposed to be? I guess so. Huh. Yeah, let's see, let's see what it looks like. Okay, that is very much not what that building looks like. Oh my god. Oh, this is what it's showing. Okay, I see what this... Okay, it's, I see the issue. I, I see why it's doing this. Let me, uh... Let me move this. Go back to screen capture. I see what it's doing. I, I see why it's doing this now. So, it's trying to show this. It, it's trying to show... It thinks the statue is a building. Is what it's doing. When it's supposed to be this building. Yeah. It, it's trying to... It's showing the tower instead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the game took creative liberties. Yeah, because that's what it's supposed to be. Or that's what it's, like, showing as, like, a building in quotations. God, look at this building, though. Game did better than real life and get close enough. <laughs> oh my god. Whew.
<laughs> looks about average to me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the top 10 architectural masterpieces. <laughs> yep. L looks, uh, looks great. <laughs> oh my god. I'm dying over here. <laughs> Perfecto. Uh, let's see. Dude, for real, I, like, the game, I, I, I think what happened was the game, like, saw that, and then saw the other thing, and was like, what do we go with here? Like, the, the game was having issues trying to choose the location. You know, since Google Maps keeps trying to show me Fort Sumter, I want to see what it looks like. Oh, I also need to see what the Statue of Liberty looks like, if you can. Is Fort Sumter in Missouri? I think so, yeah. I feel like military bases probably wouldn't show that well because a lot of it's blurred out for certain buildings and then uh, certain buildings are just big. I think the actual building didn't fit in the square, yeah. Fort Hood actually shows fine. I'll have to look at Fort Hood. I'll have to look at Fort Bragg because I haven't, I haven't been to Fort Bragg in a minute. Two area. Oh, I have not done Area Fifty One. I feel like it wouldn't let me do it though, because there's like so many areas around it. Yeah, <laughs> this is supposed to be Fort Sumter. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Man, the game and it's taking liberties again. That's just uh, huh. There's just something here. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there's just there's just something here, you know? It's just something. <laughs> About average. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, let's look at Fort Bragg. Because Fort Bragg is like a big military base. We have Fort Bragg, California, and then we have actually Fort Bragg in North, uh, North Carolina, right? <laughs> Go look at the commissary. East to Manchester Road, like we are here in the UK. Nuclear power plant site. Now they changed the name. Ah. I I will never call it Fort Liberty. I don't know. I want to see what happens if I uh, search Fort Bragg. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. When I search Fort Bragg, it brings up Fort Liberty. Ah, dude, I totally forgot they were doing this. I think I saw, like, one post about it. Uh, why they... Why did they rename that? I'm gonna see if I can find why they renamed that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, because Fort Bragg's one of... Or uh, Fort Liberty is one of the largest military installations in the world. To rename bases that bear the name oh 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 i see yeah they changed it to be pc because it was uh it bear the name of confederate leaders yeah yeah i, I okay like huh
Oh, man, hey, my man, I didn't realize it was you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm currently uh, dual streaming between actually YouTube and Twitch right now. And uh, overall, we actually have 67 viewers between both YouTube and Twitch. I think YouTube being the most, but I kind of, you know, built my channel up now on YouTube from, uh, from this, <laughs> from this game. Yeah. You're gonna stop, you're gonna stop suggesting things in Belgium because they all come out completely cooked. <laughs> uh, pure piat. Servers unreachable. Huh. Is there an update right now? Let's see if I just uh, search a place. We'll do Palace of Justice again. Oh, no, I just didn't like what I searched, apparently. Okay. <laughs> 69 viewers. Oh, no, we're actually 71 now. We're, we're past 69. We're not 69 anymore, guys. So where are we on YouTube? 66 on YouTube? Oh, we're at 68 on YouTube. Almost back to 69. Uh, do Kaiser? Are we doing like Kaiser in Spain? Like Kaiser in Madrid? Like where are we doing? Where are we doing Kaiser at? Like what's the uh, overall Kaiser? Or Kaiser, North Carolina. Okay. I was wondering that because I didn't know if it was like a big location that we're doing. We'll look at Kaiser, North Carolina. Bro, Kaiser's small. Uh, will they even let me choose Kaiser as a location? Oh, yeah, it will. Now, they have most areas, as long as it's, like, well-documented, which most of the United States is well-documented, um, on their... I forget what they use. It's, like, Open Map OS or something like that uh, is, like, where they get all of their locations from. Because, yeah, here's Shelby. You're going to pick your house to play? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where else can we do? Oh, it's open street maps. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, so it must have more than 100 buildings for you to be able to choose it. Yeah. What? Yeah, I actually wonder. I haven't seen any places with a dam. Let's see. What's, what's the Kentucky dam look like? As I feel like I just butchered the word Kentucky. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I thought I did. Let's see if I just search Kentucky. Day. Oh, no space. I need a space there. The Hoover Dam. Oh, yeah, I do wonder that. Let's see. So it does show it there. Ah, uh, it's too few buildings. Uh, I should be able to... Let's see if I do it right here. No, what about right here? Yeah. I want to see what it looks like. Is it a massive hole in the ground? <laughs> Before the dam gets the game's creative liberties? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say the Grand Canyon would look flat right now until they add in the um, uh, elevation to the game. We're, we'll check out Hoover Dam next. I do wonder what Hoover Dam looks like to you. Vegas would probably look interest. Would probably be interesting. We'll look at Vegas next. We'll look at Las Vegas. The world is. Uh, I think it was up here, right? Yeah. It shows it as, it just shows it as a bridge. It just makes it look kind of like a bridge. So I'm guessing I'll probably do the same thing for the Hoover Dam. 
At least until they add elevation into the game. Yeah, it's a it's really really unique, and I feel like that's where the game would kind of get like almost infinite play replayability, just because you could choose like just different locations. Uh, let's see. Possible to load any map in the game without building limit. More than likely, uh, somebody will make a mod to where it'll remove the building limit, or the devs might just remove the building limit. It'll make it, like, you know, not as, like... It'll probably break the game a bit because they have systems in place. Uh, but yeah, the roadmap. When they add land elevation, that's gonna be wild. Like, land elevation and the lol system, I feel like are the two main things that's gonna totally change this game up like crazy. Is the current game and state of the game enjoyable? I feel like it is. I, I like it. Um... And honestly, for the price that they're asking for, I, I'd say it's worth it. Especially with, like, what's in it right now. Because I got it pre-release. And uh, I already have, like, close to 60 hours in it. The way that I always look at games is, like, for time to play value. As long as I get, like, a dollar a dollar an hour out of it, I'm fine. I'm totally happy with it. Um, so like a $20 game, if I can get, tw if I can get 20 hours of gameplay out of it, I, I call it a success. Um, hundred dollar game, hundred, hundred hours plus, I call it a success. Uh, and that, that's usually how I try to look at it when it comes to games. Uh, especially with like how much time and replayability are in said games. So like this, uh, Infection Free Zone, I bought the backers edition, which I think was like 40 something dollars. Uh, so like right now I already have more game time than money than I put into the game from the way that I that I look at it. Um, that's fair in the way I look at playing games as well, yeah. Uh, one of them, the, the only game that's ultimately burned me this way was Call of Duty. Because I ended up buying, I think it was like Modern Warfare 3, I ended up paying like for the $120 version. And I barely got like 100 hours out of that game before just getting totally bored of it. I don't think I hit 100 hours in that game before getting totally bored of it. Um, that game definitely burned me. Yeah, so starting from yesterday... I'll be making money from YouTube on it. So yeah, starting from yesterday, um, I'll be making money off this game since I got uh, monetized yesterday. So that's also not as bad because now I'm actually making money off the game too. So you are right about that. But I'm also putting in time to, uh, you know, like up edit, upload, render the videos and stuff because I render it all in 4K. Uh, have I played Helldivers 2 at all? I have played a lot of Helldivers 2. Uh, the only issue that I have with Helldivers 2 is a lot of my friends kind of stopped playing it. And so it just got kind of rough playing with randoms at higher tiers. Uh, and so I kind of just like fell out of playing it because of that. But the newest, I do want to play with the newest update though, because they did add the mechs. Uh, they raised level cap. Uh, I actually have a new community discord up. Uh, I'll actually go and post the link to the new community discord if you guys want to join it. Uh, let me see. And, you know, because I do play games with uh, my viewership and stuff, too. Uh, expires, never generate link, copy. Okay, here we go. I don't know... It should let me post this link without it, like, without Twitch or YouTube breaking the link, right? Oh, I have to do it through the other thing. Whoops. It's not going to let me post it through here. My credit card won't work, so I got to get a physical store and get a Steam card. Ah, oh, dude, that sounds rough. I've had that before. There's the uh, Discord to the community server if you guys want to join there. Let me post it on Twitch now, too, because I don't know if I have it in my description on Twitch. Uh, da, 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 da. here we go. Twitch, Twitch chat. Yeah, 
because I have actually played uh, play, played some DayZ with some people, some people from Australia here recently. So I'm totally down, you know, to play with more people and stuff too for other games. Uh, let me see if that person replied to the email yet. They haven't replied yet. Ah, no, that one might be different. I don't know if I changed it on, uh, Twitch yet. Because I, this, uh, community server just went live the other day. Because it might, that one might be to my old server. I know the one on YouTube is my new one. Ah, uh, the DayZ streams aren't on YouTube. Those are actually ones I played off stream. Uh, cause for the most part, like right now, until I build like a decent following, I'm just trying to keep it as like certain style of games, uh, to try like, I don't know, to keep the momentum going a bit on the channel. Cause I feel like if I do too much variety on the channel at the moment, it'll just kill the channel. Uh, let's see. You got Project Zomboid? Dude, I haven't played Project Zomboid in forever either. That one, the, that game has a steep learning curve. Yeah. I don't know where I just clicked, but uh, I clicked somewhere. Padova? This is Italy. Oh, well, I don't know now. <laughs> uh, there's a place that I want to look at. I can't remember what it is, though. Nice talking to you too, my man. Yeah, it's currently the most popular. Check that out outside of YouTube vids and stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I wanted to see the Statue of Liberty. I forget what that island's called though, but it's on... Can I just, like, put in Statue of Liberty? Would that actually, like, take me to it, I wonder? I want to see if they have a model for it in the game. Oh, it's Liberty Island, duh. Yeah. Like how it's marks it as, uh... Are we not going to be able to see it? No. No, I want to be able to see it. They're hiding the Statue of Liberty from us. No, they're hiding it from us. Dude, Epstein Island? Oh my god. There's enough buildings. I feel like YouTube would like... If, say if I tried to do a series on like Epstein Island, I feel like YouTube would just take that off. I, I feel like they would bring down that video so fast. There's actually a fort here on this island that I wanted to do before, but it wouldn't let you choose it. Because you had to do like out here. And then... Because I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, but now that you're able to actually change your HQ... You might be able to do it. I feel like if I went on the internet, like say if I go to Google and I searched up Epstein Island, I feel like I'm going to get put on a list somewhere. The, world is the NSA that's keeping track of me right now. They're going to put me on a list. Yeah, so, like, there's this fort here on this island. But it's just, like, too close to the edge of the map, and it won't let you actually choose it. But now that you can change your HQ, I could just, like, choose this and then move into it. Uh, I've looked at Disney World before. It doesn't look that great, to be honest. I'll show it to you, though. Because it's funny, it's actually in my video where I show how to use the command console on YouTube. I'm actually at Disney World on in that video. Let's get an actual address, I guess, for it. Because that does not want to work. Actually, let's try just do Disney World Florida, see if that will come up. 
Oh yeah, there we go. I think it's this one, right? Uh, I want to say that's it. Disneyland is better. Cause yeah, this is what it looks like, like outside of it. But yeah, it just looks like any normal area for the most part. Like the castles don't look that great or anything like that. Let's see. Let's look at Disneyland. Oh, that does actually look kind of cooler here, though. Is that supposed to be? A, is that a castle right there? Because I don't know what. I don't know if this is just this full area as it, or if that's also in Disneyland. We'll see. Because I should be able to see that off to the side. But Disneyland does look a bit better just because it's like more compact. God, I'm honestly surprised I'm still streaming and going. Like, I, I don't know. I feel good today. <laughs> I did not feel good yesterday. I feel like it's just probably because I didn't have caffeine and I took my new medication and it just like took me out yesterday. I just wasn't in the best of moods yesterday. Today I'm feeling great though. It's, it's like, you know, just awesome talking to you guys. Oh, that crashed me. Welp, uh, Disneyland just crashed. <laughs> we'll try it again to see if Disneyland crashes again. California knows how to party. California knows how to party. Creating erect castles, yeah. The game's taking its creative liberties with California. To go get a haircut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I really do. Because like I said before, I, I don't really leave the house that much. And so, like, there's times where I've actually shaved my head once in my bathroom. Just, like, cut it down. Like, I buzz cut it. Because it was getting too long. Ooh, I wonder if Golden Gate Bridge... Yeah, I wonder if Golden Gate Bridge does have a model. Don't want to load it because it looks suspicious. You know, it's funny if these are this is like AI art um, the AI did really good with firearms because I have seen some AI art with firearms and they look wonky this at least looks more believable I've never seen a handguard like that but it at least looks more oh yep so yeah Disneyland is a no-go so I started working remote in 2016 yep yeah. Uh, it has learned, yeah. Oh, yeah, Golden Gate Bridge. Let's see. I wonder if I could just type in the Golden Gate Bridge on here. Oh, nope, I misspelled that. Oh, well, I still got it. I did a typo. Oh, so there's the bridge. Uh, yeah, I so said there's no way it's going to let me see it right there. No. Yeah, we're not going to be at white. Maybe, maybe. We might be able to see part of it. Yeah, okay. We might be able to see part of the bridge to see if it's just like a road going across the water if it actually has a model. And it's suspicious art. The magic floating houses. Outside, why? People are out there, for real. Uh, after my injury in the army and I got out and uh, my mental health kind of deteriorated a bit. And, you know, the general, because the general public. And, uh, you know, she didn't really leave the house all that much. And I, I don't really leave the house at all. Yeah, it does just look like a big road at the moment. They'll more than likely add uh, models for, like, stuff like the Golden Gate Bridge, uh... God, can't think of it. Like the Statue of Liberty, uh, stuff like 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 a lot of popular stuff that's known around the world. I'm honestly surprised it lets me spawn here because this place is pretty barren. <laughs> Masterpiece. Yep, that's the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, trying to think of where else we could go. <laughs> We're at 69 viewers. 
I think we've looked at most of like a lot of like the stuff that's known around the world. Why does it look like that? What? It looks so weird. It's like flowing. Uh, what's a really, now I'm 14 and I don't feel 14. Bro, I turned 27 in August. Like I, yeah, like I'm on the later half of my 20s now. Ah, oh, see, I got injuries and then mental health issues. <laughs> yep. I fractured my pelvis in three different places. It was a fun time and then got discharged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, Tyson, I do have to I have to figure out how to make you a mod on YouTube because I kind of forgot how to I don't know how to do that. I've never done it before. So I got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> I'll probably end up doing that tonight. Uh, are you going to be on? I say later on when it's almost midnight now. I'm, I'm 17 and I wish I was 12 again. Oh my God. I don't know. I I think I am a mod. Uh, Can I click your name and see? I don't know. I could put user in timeout. Oh, wait, no, add as administrator. Okay. So managing moderator can manage blocked words, change chat modes in live, and also has cap capabilities of standard moderators. Can review and move chat messages and hide or put users in timeout. I'll make you a managing moderator, yep. Dog, you can catch me on day <laughs> No, it went over your message. You catch me on day C and GTA until like 5 a.m. Amanda is on over. Awesome, Amanda went back to overnights. 53 and still not old yet. <laughs> I wish I was another 18 or 8. See, I wish, I don't know, because I'm like half and half. It's like. You know, I think everybody at some point wishes they could go back in time to make changes to like their life beforehand or like to um, change what happened to them. Uh, my injury happened to me when I was 21. So I've been living with it for a bit now, but it's like it's rough. So it's 6 a.m. Yeah, it's about midnight for me. Until our vacation starts Monday. Ah, oh, you got it changed your name and you got a little uh, a little wrench next to your thing. I've never seen YouTube moderators before, so I didn't know what that looked like. Oh, I just saw your Discord message now, Shouty. You're Joseph Bennett on YouTube. Let me go back up. Ah. Okay, apparently, okay, we had too many chats. I can't go all the way back up. <laughs> I could have invested in crypto when I was four in Bitcoin. Ah. I would not want to go back in time. A new body, however. Yeah. When I was six. <laughs> I think everyone wished they invested in Bitcoin at this point. I don't think there's a person alive that wished they did. Or, you know, those people that had, like, Bitcoin. I wish I didn't make it to egg. What? Oh. Uh, let's see. Let's check out Madagascar. Wait, wait, what are these little lights... The, these little tiny lights out here. Look at this. No, go back. I just realized. Oh, I wish that was the slow sperm. <laughs> Let's check out this little island right here. Huh. Now, is there enough area here to actually be able to, like, do stuff here? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> I just love the game it was putting. Oh no, you want to hear something hilarious? So, uh, you know how like uh, detergent that you put in your washing machine, how it has like those caps, like those twist caps that kind of look like cups. Uh, when I was little, I was trying to get a cup out of the uh, cabinet, but it was too high up. But I saw that there was a uh, one of the detergent lids wasn't on the actual thing. So I ended up, I thought, I was like, oh, I'm going to wash it out a bit with some water. And then I was, I just put some water in it to drink. I was throwing up for so long. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> note no to your kids, do not drink detergent. <laughs> or don't, don't drink direct detergent, but also don't use the cap as a cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> dude, I was, I was throwing up for so long. No, I don't remember that for the rest of my life too. Cause that, ah, uh, just the, like the soap taste. And then it just tore up my stomach. Ah, uh, dude, that was hilarious. Ah, uh, or take walks down memory lanes. A lot of stupid things at some point yet. Yeah. Uh, we looked at Greenland. We actually haven't looked at Iceland yet. God, just thinking about solidified lard gives me chills. Keep him away from the Tide Pods. <laughs> uh, let's look at Iceland. Oh, this is the cat. Wait, what? Don't tell me their capital house is called the Volcano House. Like their capital building? Because that, that's awesome if it's actually called the Volcano House. All I could think about when I hear Iceland, though, is... Uh, is the anime called Iceland? I forget what that anime's called now. No. What we call God, what's it called? Appeared out of nowhere. I can't remember what it's called now. It's like Vikings. Ah, Well, the Volcano House doesn't look that great if it's one of these. I think it was this one. Hey, my man. While the commercials clarify, keep them out of the range of kids. Did did we look at Denmark already? I can't remember if we already looked at Denmark. I think we looked at something in Denmark. I can't remember if we looked at the capital of Denmark. We'll take a look at it, though. But hey, D-Ray. Uh, if you're wondering who I'm talking to, Ray, I'm actually I'm talking to my YouTube chat also. My YouTubes. YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Mentally. <laughs> Says something about Vikings. Yeah, there's an anime. Is it Visland? I can't remember what it is now. Ah. I'm just gonna look it up. Viking anime. It's a really cool anime. Oh, Vinland. Yeah, it's the Vinland saga. Hands down, like one of my favorite animes. All about revenge. Uh, let's see, we're gonna check out Denmark. Denmark, South Carolina. <laughs> Denmark, Wisconsin. Now we're looking at Denmark, the country game. The Blue Planet. Oh no, we haven't looked at Denmark, yeah. So it's the capital region it's called the, the Blue Planet. What is that? I wanna see what that is. I, I, I dig the name, the names, the names. If I can get, oh my God. That sounds like it'd be rough. I love Vikings. My dog is named Floki. Oh, my uh, my dog's actually name is Loki. One of my dogs, my uh, my husky, his name's Loki. The world as we know it. Tank Bistro and Cafe. Is this supposed to be an aquarium? The Blue Planet. I feel like that's supposed to be an aquarium. 
Ah, currently, my guy, uh, I'm only giving mods to, uh, like, people that I know or people that I get to know. Uh, depending on that. Uh, it's been a little over a month, Ray. Been a little over a month. I ended up rebranding and everything. You. <laughs> That's a weird looking building. Uh, Bearing Pharmaceuticals. It's a Dorito. Give my yeah. I was I have a. I have three dogs. I have a husky and two Australian shepherds. Uh, my husky's name is Loki. Uh, one of my Australian shepherds' name is Theo, and the other one's name is Cujo. Uh, Theo and Cujo are actually brothers. They're from the same litter. This would be a very cool place to base in if Infected couldn't swim. Like, this would be a pretty cool place because you'd just be defending this, turn this into a warehouse, and you have, like, a tower there. You'll hit me up in a few on disc. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to end my stream in probably around midnight. Because um, I have been streaming for like over five hours now. <laughs> uh, Let's see. We have two pit bulls. Uh, see, originally I didn't, I didn't know, because like I own my house now. Uh, but originally I didn't. And... I saw like a puppy pit that was really cute, but most places w won't rent to you in the United States if it's certain breeds and one of those breeds being pit bull. And, uh, but one of my friends, uh, she had her, one of her friends, uh, dogs had puppies and they're Australian shepherds. I'm going to, I'm going to make a channel in discord for pets. And so people can like, you know, post images of their pets. <laughs> I, I, I kind of dig that idea. I like that. Uh, let's see. We've already checked uh, the White House. I want to see what this little island is right here. Another little island here. Jesus. Your doggies in Discord? Let's take a look at it. Oh, dude, that's such a cute beagle. Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. I'm actually gonna let's create a channel. Uh, it's gonna be. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be a text channel. Uh, I'll just name it Pets for now. I'll probably rename it at some point. Oh, I don't have a custom image for it. I'll have to do something for that in the future. But yeah, now there's a there, now there's a pets channel <laughs> that moved in. They would never guess there were anything other than pampered pets all their lives. Yeah, the Sydney Opera House, and it's just wow. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. I actually do want to see what the Sydney Opera House looks like. God, how do you spell Sydney? Uh, S Y D N E Y. I feel like I'm butchering it. I'm probably am butchering it. Oh, no, that is how you spell it. Okay, I'm not butchering it. So, yeah, it's that building right there. Oh, flooded full of doggy pics, yeah. <laughs> I say I'll have to do it from my phone. The world as we know it is gone. What we call the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made uh, the extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. 
soon later, the infected <laughs> rescue ragdoll. More like vampires than humans. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements. Loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, that the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were. Oh, Jesus, I looked up and there's like paragraphs. I was looking at my phone for a second, looking at looking for my pictures. Oh, what? <laughs> Dude, this is a Sydney Opera House. <laughs> oh, that one's a chonker, though. You got, you got a chonky boy on that cat. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he looks so angry. He looks so angry at you. Uh, let's see. Dude, Sydney Opera House looks wild. Palace of Justice was better, yeah. Oh no, we haven't done Las Vegas yet. We'll do Las Vegas next. We'll do, we'll do that one too. Yeah, I'm looking at him, gamer. Like I said, one of them looks like he looks so mad just like sitting there. One time, my HQ was in my old high school, and it was scarily accurate. Even that random building behind the school where a, a serial killer hid. Anyone's playing? I had tons of threatening calls from my grandf my grandpa's house. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Yeah, here's Sydney. <laughs> the Sydney Opera House. Oh, dude, that's great. Sydney Dance Company. Dance, dance. Uh, let's see. Lore accurate. Yeah, we're going to look at... Uh, we're gonna look at Las Vegas real quick. And then I'm probably gonna end the stream there because it is like about to be midnight. You're not gonna like. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. Sad looking opera house, yeah. Uh, let's see. Ooh, wait, there is a casino place I wanna look at. The, isn't there like a casino in Las Vegas that looks like a uh, pyramid? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, the Luxor Hotel and Casino. I want to see what that looks like. Oh, dude, Las Vegas is massive, yeah. Like, Las Vegas is huge. Uh, this is the one that I'm talking about. Let me, I'll, I'll show it on stream here in a second. With the, uh... So, this is a hotel casino. Let me, uh, change over. Uh, so I didn't know an exact date or time that the game was going to come out originally. So the, uh, the giveaway was set to a time, but there's already a winner for the giveaway. Cause I did it when I got up earlier today when the game released, I'm just waiting for the person to, uh, get back to me, uh, to give them the key. But if they don't, if they don't email me back in 24 hours, I'm just going to choose another winner. I'll have it reroll. Yeah. But yeah, this is the one I was talking about. It's a, uh, Discord froze. It's a, uh, like, pure, it's a casino hotel, but it's a black pyramid. X 
silly so 40 fix. Oh my god. I see this. Uh But yeah, I want to see where this is. So we're going to copy this. We're going to try to find this. <laughs> was it you, Baker? Uh, reply to the email if it is, because I sent an email. Let me take this off a of screen capture so nobody can see your email, so I don't accidentally dox you. No, oh, yeah, it is actually you. Dude, that's hilarious. That's great. <laughs> that's honestly hilarious that it is actually you. Here, give me a second, my guy. <laughs> I thought you were just messing with me at first. God, a steam just like absolutely like rips my ear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's great. I was not expecting it to actually be you. So, if purchasing for yourself, if we're gonna go to gift. You're gonna play all night long. Yeah. That's hilarious though that you <laughs> that you popped up in here. Try Dole. Yeah, we'll try Dole real quick. Uh oh Jesus. Nope, go back. Is it just Dole? Like is like is there a certain location for Dole? Like is it because yeah, this is what's gonna show me. What what is it doing? Why are you doing this? Like, game. Erect elongated pyramid, yeah. Is on the left of Antwerp. Uh. Cause I'm not going to be able to really find it like on the map itself. So I'm going to need like a, like an actual location. Let's do this. Let me type it into Google maps. Oh, is it Dole Belgium? Is that, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. 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 Uh, we'll click this cause it'll at least show me the location. Looks like a massive port right here, though. Jesus, yeah. Actually, a cool looking island right here, like a little, uh, little continent sticking out. Kind of looks like a tadpole or something. A tadpole. <laughs> mm. But uh, is this what you're wanting to look at to see, like the docks? What it like looked like what it looked like on here. Kinda like the how that's kinda set up. Looks kinda cool. It's a ghost town with a nuclear power plant cool towers. Oh what Dole is? Oh, I did not know that. Oh, the pinpoint? Oh. Huh. Oh, is it this right here? Ah, yep. I actually want to see two few buildings. Ah, it's not going to let me choose it. No. I wanted to see what it looked like. Probably just two big uh, spheres, because I've had some buildings that just look like, uh, kind of like discs. 
Uh, but they just like have stuff that's searchable. Oh yeah, my man, I'll send it to you uh, here in a bit. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll end up e emailing it to you. Uh, but yeah. Oh, Fukushima. Oh, I do actually want to look at Fukushima real quick. That's actually a good one. Okay, after this one, <laughs> I'm going to be ending the stream. <laughs> Is it actually like right there? Let's see. Well, it, uh, it found it for me anyway, but... That's that entire area. Uh... Is it at the lake? Like, where is that located at? The, uh... Plant. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So it's actually over here. Wait, it brought me to the coast on this, though. Oh, it's the Fukushima Dachi Nuclear Power Plant. Okay. I got the name now. Dude, I, I still... I do that all the time. Like, I'll, I'll sit here. Like, I'll keep talking. Somebody will recommend something, and it's like, I do actually want to see that. And then I'll, I'll keep going. I, I, I am bad. Oh, this actually let me choose it. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Uh, but Baker, I might have to have you friend me on Steam to gift it to you, but I'm not 100% sure if I could just straight up send you the key off the check. I've never, like, gotten just straight up key off of Steam, but I might be able to. I'll have to see here in a second. Okay, so, like, all of these, just searching all these silos. I'm gonna choose something real quick, so I wanna see if those are, like, fuel. Ah, oh, they're random, okay. Yeah, we made our way out of Fukushima. Oh, yeah. Alright, uh... Are you in the Discord, Baker? Yeah, I almost found the fuel mother load. No? Okay, uh... Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can do it to where I can... Okay, continue to gift options. Uh... Yeah, it's gonna make me... Gift it this way. Let me see if I can get a... I don't know if I can do a code. Yeah, I might have to add you on Steam to be able to give it to you. Yep. Do I have my Steam profile on YouTube? I can't remember if I do or not. Oh, okay, so I don't actually have it linked? Okay, I'll do this then. Uh, let me go here.
and eat salads. All right, here should be my community profile right here. Oh, whoops. That actually just linked the store. Wrong thing. I don't know why it just copied that and not... Uh, what I'm trying to link here. There we go. Uh, there we go. Should be... This is my community profile, Baker. <laughs> I see your message, gamer, on my uh, Steam profile. Nice vids. I know that's you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Or wait, or did you send it to me in the email? I can't remember. Or I don't know where you were sending it to me at. Oh, you did send it to me in the email. Okay, yeah, that's better. I didn't know where you were sending it to me. Let me see if I could find you. Well, St. James Island. Uh, it's not that one. Let me try this one. Ah, oh, there you are. Have a nice night, my man. Thank you for hanging out. It's honestly been a been a fun night. <laughs> I streamed for a lot longer than I was expecting to stream. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're our friends. Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me two seconds, and I will gift you that. I'm just going to put it as a message. Congratulations, you won. <laughs> uh, Continue. Make sure I'm not like doxing my credit card information. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> Make sure real quick. Yeah, my man, we were just finishing up. Oh, you're female too. Dude, I've done that a few times tonight. I just, you know, don't expect females to be in here. I, I just default to calling everyone butter man, you know? Yeah, we've been going for five and a half hours. I can rewind, yeah. You, you'll literally see us play, uh, we, we pretty much play premium Google Maps for a while. For most of the stream. <laughs> we were paying paid Google Maps. <laughs> Uh, did it get sent to you? Let me make sure. You got it? Nice. Okay. See, I wasn't sure at first because uh, normally it says it sends because I've gifted games before. Um, but it's like, oh, install it. And I'm like, install it? I was like, did I just buy a second copy of this for myself? <laughs> oh, yeah. But enjoy it, my guy. Yeah, we had... Oh, uh, that, that's hilarious that you popped into the stream, though, and you were the winner. Uh, but yep, uh, have a good night, everybody. And I hope, you know, you have a, a wonderful time and, you know, sweet dreams to anybody that's going to bed. Have a good day for anybody just waking up. <laughs> Peace.